Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Jonathan, and I regret wearing this shirt. It looks pretty awful under the lighting. Um, it's very bright, but uh, I'm not going to change because we're already starting. I have a Discord server now due to popular demand. Hello, Elena. Uh, let me put the link in the chat. Forgot to do that. Where'd I put that link? I have all the time in the world to find this link because... Steel Rising takes forever and a half to load. Oh, it loaded. Well, hold on, Steel Rising. One second here. Because I, I don't remember what I did with the link, and I need to put it up. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, stuff isn't working. Hello, Marco! How you doing? Do you know one another? <laughs> One minute. Wow, this is taking longer than I wanted it to. Oh, excellent! Thank you so much for spending your lovely Italian nights with us. I really want to have, uh, some daytime streams for Europe at some point. I just, uh, I haven't been able to work it in with everything else yet, but I will. Hold on. Here's the link. Copy link. I'm doing really well, Marco. Thank you. Good to meet you. There's a Discord server now. Join it if you want or something. Yeah. Pin message. Aw, how did you like it? That was so much fun to make. Took longer than I wanted, but it's done now. Wow, that half of my face is really dark. Hey, Somni. There's a Discord now. Okay, I need to figure out. Lighting is hard. Let's change it to that. You know how lighting is just like lighting and lighting? Hmm. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. We'll go with that. It's not too bad. Thank you, yes, 2K! Uh, I'm really floored how fast things have grown because uh, it, it took about the same amount of time between the first Nier video and 1K to make the next K, 1,000 to 2,000. Uh, but even still, I didn't post anything between 1,000 and 2,000. So that still counts as an increase in speed to me. Okay, let's play Steel Rising. I haven't... I I was gonna be so good, you guys. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do between streams? I'm gonna... Like, I'm not gonna progress in the game. I'm just going to walk around and, uh, you know, like, practice in the area and read all my item descriptions so that I can, like, keep off the rust and, and understand the plot better by next stream. And then I didn't do any of that. I didn't boot it up once. And I'm having some pretty bad frame drop issues. I hope those go away on their own, because... Oh, I can check the set. Oh god, that's so bad! Oh god, it's so bad! Did the... What happened to the, uh... Video settings? They're on low. I can't do better than that. Okay. Ask what is going on. This is Steel Rising. This is my second play session of it. 
I'm not very far in the game. It's a Soulsborne that came out last year. Uh, not by FromSoft. It's by... Who made this game? I don't remember who made this game. I'm not going back to the main menu because the loading screens in this game are intense. Uh, but it's good. We've been having fun with it. And as you can see, it's gorgeous, even on the lowest uh, graphical settings, which I have to use. You're right, the game sound is quite loud. I totally forgot I even told myself I was going to switch that out, but I didn't. Thank you for saying that. Uh, it should be fixed now. Okay, need to talk about the whole clown analogy? Let's go. Uh, because I 100% got the same feeling when I was a child, but I felt it in other tracks and from enemy design too. Do tell, do tell. Yeah, let me know how the mix is now. It should be much better. Uh, you were hearing the full 100% unaltered output of my machine instead of literally any other option. Uh, anyway, if, if you couldn't hear what I was saying, uh, because I'm unprofessional, I was saying that uh, Steel Rising is a game with gorgeous graphics. Uh, it's a Soulsborne. I don't know who made it, because I forgot. Um, but it came out last year, and I hope my computer stops stuttering, because that would be great in a Soulsborne game, you see. Oh, and for those who aren't familiar with the term, Soulsborne just refers to any sort of third-person, super difficult action game that relies on, like, dodging and a stamina gauge for moves. It's an RPG kind of subgenre. I forgot that guy was hiding up there. Oh, I can't counter fire. That's not how fire works. Yes, that's much better. Excellent. Yeah, so, um, I'm... It, oh, I guess I should have paid attention to anything. At least it doesn't take forever to load between deaths. That would make it pretty unplayable. IMHO. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, about Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I... Somebody left a comment this morning uh, saying that the the enemies reminded them of harlequins and i thought that was a a really good comparison um like like jesters court jester types like harley quinn is a pun on harlequin um i thought that was a great comparison if not clowns harlequins for sure i'm glad i'm not alone in having that observation as a kid I was really doubting my sanity there. Wait, did I just log on to like a super distant thing there? Eh. Oh, I thought I countered in time. Oh, I have the wrong weapon out. You guys, I have the wrong weapon out. That's embarrassing. Okay, I'm going back to the Vestal. Gotta get this health back. It's gonna take me a while to get out of this place just because it's labyrinthing. It la it's very labyrinthine. So I've been having trouble knowing where I've been and where I haven't. Oh, I just ran by this guy. It's not good to leave yourself open like that. Now I've probably got the dogs coming after me too, which is what we want. I- wait, hold on, I thought I changed my weapon. Oh, I didn't use the right button for changing my weapon, that's on me. Sorry if you can hear my Roomba. It's very obnoxiously pounding on my door, but it will not get in. I shan't let it. Hmm, maybe you can't counter these guys. Because I thought I had the timing right. Well, I didn't there. Okay, you know, this is going great. Oh, you know it's kind of important, usually, in, in, in a game like this? Uh, is recovering stuff when you die. I didn't do that. Where did I die? Oh. 
I only played 358 over 2, but I remember some heartless designs clearly resembling circus elements, and some tracks just had that heart circus playfulness that I couldn't name them right now to save my life. That's interesting. Uh, my, my, my claim in the video was more specific to nobodies than to heartless, uh, but it's true. There are definitely some playful heartless designs as well. And like the, I, I would say that the most iconic heartless is the soldier, and they have like some Tim Burton-y, twirly, twisty elements that are kind of uh, playful. And they have the weird like spasming dance. I don't know what that slowdown means. Hopefully nothing bad. I haven't gotten a tutorial message about it yet. Where did I die? I have to go to there. Oh, what do you want? Let me get my stamina back. Ow. Ow. I'm good at this. I'm so good at this. I can hit a moving target. I can hit a stationary target. I'm a normal person. Where did I die? I thought it was around here. Was it not around here? Hello? Usually I'm pretty good with navigation and directions. I don't know why it's so hard for me in this game. Oh, didn't I die around here? Sounds like something I might do. I think I might have already picked it up and just not even paid attention when it happened. Because I, I think that's where it was. Anyway, let's um, let's make any progress this time before I have to go back to the Vestal because I've used all my healing. Well, timing on that is off. Got it that time. Oh, don't shoot. That's cheating. I mean, I have a gun too. I just don't like using it because it's more fun to be like a blade dancer type. Yeah. I actually haven't played 358 over two days. I have watched the movie version uh, that comes with, I think, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix? God damn, the Kingdom Hearts titles are so bad. It's a joke how bad they are. It's literally a joke. I thought that maybe they made some enemy elements more circusy to make them slightly less dramatic, especially since the cage de demographic was mostly kids, thanks to Disney. Yeah, there's definitely some truth to that. Absolutely. Uh, like, if you look at... I, one of the first worlds in the original Kingdom Hearts is Alice in Wonderland, and you can definitely see a lot of inspiration... Uh, between that world and the enemy design that that you see there so yeah uh, part of it is just being imaginative and kid friendly at the same time i agree with that like some of the battle music is really cheerful too like the uh the battle music in that same Alice in Wonderland world. I haven't, like, checked the sheet music for this, but I would bet you anything it's in major key. It's just cute. It's fun. N now that I think about it, it does modulate, but it starts in a major key. Well, that was a cool animation, whatever I just did there. Oh, the movie version must be soothing to the eyes. <laughs> 358 over 2 on NDS was polygons. Yeah, I can imagine. Because that came out on not even the 3DS, just the Nintendo DS. That was not an advanced display. That was probably, what, 480p? Something like that. Hi, Logic. On that topic, I found the lore section of the last video very funny. I'm glad. I had a lot of fun making it. Um... I had to manually let that message through Elena because 
<laughs> uh, YouTube mistook it for a recommendation to self-delete. Um, but yeah, you could stab yourself and die on every main character's hair strands. <laughs> uh, we love, we love retro polygon aesthetics. So I have these characters called nobodies. Oh, so are they like ghosts? No, they have bodies, just not hearts. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I also have these things called the heartless. You know, I will say, in Nomura's defense, he did make Heartless before Nobodies, so the, the name Heartless was already taken when he made actually Heartless Beings. But it is very funny, and we can tease him for it anyway. Oh shoot, I'll be careful not to say weird stuff, my bad. No, it's not your- it, like, don't worry about it at all. It's not like you're gonna be dinged or something, it's just that I had to like hit a little button to be like, no, that, that, that's chill, it's okay. That, that's not <laughs> horrid bullying, that is just making fun of old graphics. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, I really don't like fighting these guys for that reason. Ho! Yeah, saw that coming. I'm gonna head out. I have to buy food. Thanks for the stream. Buying food is important. I recommend buying food whenever you should buy food. Uh, have a great night or day, wherever it is, whatever it is, wherever, have a good one. Bye, Sonorian. Oh god, I keep forgetting about that guy. Blah. Excellent. Okay. You know, I... I have a I have a good feeling about this one. I'm actually gonna like get past that guy and actually see some stuff I haven't seen before this 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 time. Hello Kay, how you doing? Watch out. What did I miss? I'll tell you what you missed. Uh not really anything. Kinda just started. Um I'm just making my way around this 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 whole area uh and wait a minute hold on steel rising can wait uh oh uh have to imagine a confused ai being taught the difference between making jokes about anime hairstyles and encouraging self ouch <laughs> it's just like what hurt okay hurt not okay Ugh. anyway uh, really happy that there's a Discord now. Yeah, I'll uplo upload the long-awaited sombrero pics once I log in from PC tomorrow morning. So most likely in eight-ish hours. I look forward to it. Hi, back. Welcome back, Sami. So I'm 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 putting Steel Rising on pause, and we're gonna switch over to just chatting because eh, look what my hold on, look what my friends got me for Christmas. I haven't opened it yet. It's a book of near art, and I thought we could look at it together. Uh, they they sent it. They gave it to me over a week ago, but I just I forgot to bring it up last stream, so I didn't. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to open on stream, so I've been waiting. So, you know, opening it. I I think I may have seen somebody else's copy of this before, uh, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's something on the back. Near art. Kota Kazuma works. I wish I could tell you who Kota Kazuma is. I assume that's the art director, but I don't know. I only know the music staff. It's only available on Apple Music. Wait, which near OST? Because um, the uh, the original 2010 version is on Spotify. I haven't been able to find a place to purchase 1.22 though. Um, that's so cool. It's not available in Canada. Oh, at all? Maybe like if you use a VPN? I don't know. Oh, Replicant 1.22. Must be so good to look at. Hey, let's see. All right, I'm opening it up. It's got a very nice um, book jacket. Let's see, what what's the actual cover? Oh, the cover's kind of nice, but nothing on the book jacket. That's gorgeous. Ah, I've never done any kind of like unboxing thing before. I don't know. I, I'm probably mishandling this horribly. Anyway, let, let's let's read a bedtime story. 
uh, with no words in it. Holy crap. I don't know. Can you see that? Oh, it's so reflective. But that is gorgeous. That's, what is that? Is that the, um... I was going to say that looks like the bridge to uh, the junk shop, but it <laughs> you are doing amazing. Thank you. Um, you have a VPN and you still can't listen to the Replicants soundtrack at all? What is going on? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. I, well, at least it's all on YouTube. Have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's pretty. Yeah, I, I think this is the bridge to the, um, hold on, is that, oh, I can just read what it is. It was decided beforehand that this piece had to include characters from all three near titles, so I was racking my brain trying to figure out how to bring together these three figures who would have otherwise never directly interacted with one another. I ultimately settled on a comp composition featuring Gears, which can be found in Automata's logo and Lavinia's weapon memories in Reincarnation, and the Bridge of Replicant's Northern Plains with a coat of rust to tie it all together. Well, that was beautifully done. And you can see I haven't played, um, what is it called? I haven't played Near Reincarnation, which is a mobile game, uh, but you can see that we've got 2B and Near, so um, that must be whoever you play as in Reincarnation. Obviously, we're not going to go through this whole book. I just wanted to... Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. Look at that. That's a teaser illustration for Near Automata on top, and then on the bottom, that's a to the tower from the factory in the first level. Oh my gosh. The Forest King. Minor spoilers. I think they mean they can't purchase it, but I think you should be able to listen to it. I found it on SoundCloud. Yeah, the whole 1.22 version is on SoundCloud. Not officially, but it's there. And it's been there for a while, so I don't think it's going to be taken down. I'm just turning through a few different pages. Pascal's Village... These are so nice. I wonder if these were done... These look like they were done digitally, not with oil. But I don't know very much about visual art. Not as much. I think it's digital, though. The North American box art. Wait a minute. You guys... You're, um... Oh, I know what's going on. I never added the chat box to this scene. That should be better. You should actually show up on screen now, instead of just having a blue bar there for, for no reason. That Forest King illustration has been my WhatsApp background pick for four over four years now. Wow, nice. Um, and it's not working. Why is the chat box not working? Hmm. 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 Oh, you have been showing up on screen? All right. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. I, I don't know why it was looking weird on my screen, but, um, fantastic. Let's just set that back to the way it was. Yeah, I love that Forest King picture painting. You guys! This is so cool, I've never seen this. Near Automata Become as God's ed Edition Xbox One Edition artwork. Do you guys see that reflection? That's a freaking two. I love that. I, I Oh, that's such a beautifully composed image. That's so beautiful. Chat kind of comes in waves on stream. Oh yeah, no worries about that. I can like I can see the chat in my like little YouTube pop out window. I just thought it wasn't appearing on the stream visually for you guys. The elusive Jonathan side profile. <laughs> hey, we know that one. It's one of my favorite moments in all gaming, just coming out of the sewers and finding that firework show. Beautiful. Mm 
flipping ahead. <clears throat> Yeah, the forest in Nier Automata is one of the prettiest places in, in modern video games, I think. Going to pretend I know what's happening. We're looking at paintings. Have you learned about paintings? Yeah, those are paintings. I'm an asshole. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, it's mostly near automata stuff it looks like I, I don't think there's much art here from near replicant or near reincarnation oh i say that and then this is apparently from near reincarnation which again i haven't played so i don't recognize these these cityscapes but wow they're beautiful they're really beautiful more of that Pretty sure most of those illustrations are digitally made. I think so. It's just a faster and more convenient medium for concept artists. Absolutely. And less expensive. <laughs> Dang, maybe I want to play Near Reincarnation just so I can see all of these places. But I think it's a gotcha game, and I've played so many gotcha games. Okay, let's see if we can find some... Oh, here we go. Near Replicant Tokyo. Whoop. Eh. Tokyo. The Northern Plains. Okay, we're gonna end on this. This is such a good one to end on. That is absolutely beautiful. You've got every color of the rainbow in that picture. Holy moly. That's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Well, thank you to my unnamed friends for getting this for me. I will be looking through this more carefully in my own time. Okay, uh, back to what the stream is actually supposed to be about. Steel Rising. Pretty things. Speaking of gacha games, those towers look like the Genshin intro screen towers. Oh, that's a good point. Get the Genshin towers are like a mix between uh, that painting and the copied city from Automata. Genshin has so much good music. I'm bummed that the, the one Genshin video I've done is by far my least popular video. And I'm willing like to take responsibility for that. I'm not saying like, everybody hates Genshin. Like it's a ridiculously popular IP. Um, it's probably something about the title or thumbnail. I'll definitely try again, but there's just, there's so much gorgeous music in Genshin Impact. And uh, I haven't gotten the chance to talk about any more of it. And I don't get the feeling that's going to change in the immediate future. Uh, as I've said on my Patreon, though, like, eh, even though eh, even though I do have, um, like, eh, patrons get to vote on what I talk about each month, if I ever get ahead of schedule enough that I can make multiple videos in a month, I probably will. And I'll just, like, eh, make the extra ones on whatever the hell I want to do. They might not even be video game music all the time. Jeez. What did we say about talking and playing at the same time? It's hard. But it's also literally the concept of streaming, so... You gotta do what you gotta do. Elena, what have you done? This message is held for review. Northern Plains were a pleasure to walk through. I just loved listening to Evie, Emmy Evans cheerfully singing while I slaughtered sheep. You, you Apparently you can't say slaughtered because nothing else is wrong with that. God, Emmy Evans has such a beautifully pure voice. I think you have to switch scene. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. God damn it. Uh, I'm am professional streamer. 
one of these days I'll understand what I'm doing as a person, but it's not today. Uh, just for anybody who hasn't seen it, there's a pinned message in the chat. I do have a Discord server now, so if you would like to talk about music with everybody all the time instead of just once a week, feel free to do so. Uh, I don't plan on having any sort of like special events or streams on it at this time, uh, and I probably won't be using the voice chat very much because I'm very introverted, but it's there, and uh, the, the, the main... Uh, benefit in the immediate sense, as Elena will test for us shortly, is that uh, now we can share photos and links and stuff instead of just text. And that is important because there are tiny sombreros and pets, and we need pictures of both of those things. Die! Was it ever alive to begin with, though? Near Automata. I'll also gladly share cat pics. Excellent! I'm allergic to cats, so that's the only kind of cat affection I can safely endure. Oh! Bodies! Hmm... I don't think I've been here. But it's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, look at that, an unopened treasure, treasure chest. We're on we're on the right on the right track. On the right track. Probably only Kay gets that. That's a Pippin reference. Not Marion Pippin, the musical. Take it easy now. Jeez. Jeez. I didn't take it easy enough, or maybe too easy. Should I share dog pics on the Discord? You can share all, any and all animal pics. I encourage all of that. The, the one rule I have about pictures, okay, the two rules I have about pictures is, um, I mean, they're, they're both uh, based on the, the server being all ages, uh, at least for now. Um, and that's just that, uh, don't post anything that isn't safe for work and don't post personal pictures of minors, just to keep everybody safe. But yeah, uh, if the dog is a minor, that's okay. You, you can still post a picture of the dog. My cat sort of looks like a tired mafia boss. He's all black, but with white paws and belly and white bottom half of the face. Oh my gosh, so he's just got, like, facial hair, like, What's it to you, eh? 100% share burb pictures. I love burbs. If I were to have a pet, it would probably be a burb. I'm not allergic to dogs, and I really like dogs. I've lived with dogs. But I don't like taking dogs on walks. And I feel that it would be cruel to get a dog and then not walk it, at least daily. So, probably a burb. A burb would be better. Can I counterattack these guys? I want to know. Yes! The timing's just weird. It's hard to see the telegraphs as well because they're quadrupedal. What was that? <laughs> what the, what's it to you, eh? Is that what you're referring to? To leave now, might join later. Have fun, everyone. Bye, Kay. Thanks for stopping by. Want to see your dog? That's not a threat. Just, it would be nice. The burb sadly now lives with my sister far away, but I have plenty of pictures to share. I'm sorry for your burb relocation. I remember uh, when I moved out, I, I really missed my my family dog. We had a, a really wonderful greyhound. 
Uh, she was a rescue. We got her when she was four. And it's like... <laughs> it's weird because, um... You know, like, the, the whole idea of of uh, adopting a rescue greyhound is that they'll never have to race again because the racing is pretty unfair to the animals and can sometimes be abusive. Um, that was a weird... What were the iframes on my dodge there? Anyway. Uh, it, it's weird because I want to be, like, proud and say, like, she was a very fast racer, but also it's, like, bad that we know that, so I don't know where that puts us. I'm gonna have to run the hell away, otherwise I'm gonna lose the... 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 stuff... what is it called? I don't remember. Whatever souls are called in this game. Something essence, I think. As I was browsing through your videos with Elena, we saw the Hades video, and it really struck me that I never stopped to listen to the so Oh no! What have you done to me, Marco? I'm just kidding. Never stopped to listen to the songs enough. I will be sure to replay it and listen properly. Ooh. I highly recommend all of Darren Korb's soundtracks. I think, uh, just generally across the board, Hades is the best work that Supergiant Games has ever put out. Uh, but... Ooh, highly recommend the Transistor and Bastion soundtracks. Um, everything about Pyre, which is their third title, everything about Pyre is good. Uh, I just don't like anything about Pyre as much as I like the other three titles. Did you guys see that there's going to be a Hades 2? They've never done sequels before. This one's going to be about... I can't remember for sure. I think Hades sister sorry not Hades um Zagreus' sister maybe I can't remember now but it looks really fucking good hi Kono how you doing hey Jonathan first time catching a stream yeah I've seen your comments thank you for your support love your videos how are you doing I'm doing really well good to see you thank you for coming uh, we're playing Steel Rising, which is a, a Soulsborne game. What music we have heard in it is really wonderful, but there's not much, because it's a Soulsborne game. I'm quite happy with the Borb relocation. <laughs> he was a very good boy all overall, but he pooped literally everywhere and was loud. I mean, you had to study during the night because he screamed all day long loud. Oh, he's a parrot, isn't he? You're describing a parrot. Yes, it's about her sister. Okay, his sister. Um, yeah, so hype for Hades too. Me too. Yes, about a goddess that appears in a single poem from the time. Uh, we love our mythology nerds. Greek mythology really is cool. It's like the first soap opera. Whoops, no, you're fine. Uh, yep, a tiny green menacing parrot. He sounds amazing at a distance. I can't wait to see him. I've never had a parrot. Well, that's not true. We actually, we had a cockatiel briefly. I think that counts as a parrot. I'm just gonna run ahead. I'm just gonna run ahead and grab my stuff, and it, it, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. I haven't thought that far ahead. Is he following me? Damn it. Hey, look! It's my stuff. Anima Essence, that's what it's called. Um, yeah. What was I talking about? Cockatiel. We had a cockatiel. We just found her. We literally just found her one day. Uh, I, I, she must have, like, flown away from, uh, from her owners. Because she, she had unclipped wings. Um, and she very much looked like she didn't know where she was and clearly wasn't going to find her way back, so... Uh, we took her in for a while, but then, if I remember correctly, like, my dad was allergic to her, and we had to get rid of her, so we gave her to some friends of the family, and then history repeated itself, and she got away from them and flew away. Hooray! So that was sad. Yo, Discord server? Hey, Asher! Uh, yeah, I have put up a Discord server. Which is, like, weirdly intimidating, because I still have imposter syndrome, and I'm like, no, that's what real streamers do. Shoot. 
That burb had a greater purpose. That burb needed to fly. Put not that bird in a cage. Boo, can't click it on mobile. Oh no, that's weird. Go into laptop then. Imposter syndrome is very real. Two Anthony's, you'll have to fight to the death. How you liking the game? I like it a lot so far. I'm not good at it, as you can see. Actually, no, I'm gonna give myself credit. I'm reading the chat during this fight and haven't yet died. It's going poorly, but I haven't died. And that is, that is something to be proud of, I think. Can't stay long, just saying hi. Good to see you again, Anthony. Asher, I, I know you usually go by Asher. Do you prefer Anthony? Because I can call you both Anthony. I can do that. I can make that happen. You haven't died yet. Oh, I will. It's already happened this stream, and it will happen again. Hmm. That seemed like it was going to be a trap of some kind. Glad it wasn't. Hey, can you guys see? Because I can't fucking see. I'm going to have to turn up the brightness. Brightness. Brightness, Yasna Kolin. That was a very obscure reference, but I know Asher got it. Asher's tote's fine online. Okay. <laughs> I can make that happen. Since I know you're making a video on Grandma, I might as well give you some of the things I've found from analyzing it. Oh, sure. Appreciate that. I noticed it goes from the a diminished 7 to a dominant. Oh, that's interesting. I'll keep that in mind. That's definitely... I, I haven't looked at the uh, chord progressions very closely yet. May, I, I've only just like started my, my analysis, but so far what I know for sure is that it's almost exclusively in harmonic minor as opposed to natural minor. And that gives it like a, a, a very sinister classical effect. Like what, whenever I think harmonic minor, the first example I think of is like, I don't even remember what the piece is called, but you know, the, the Dracula piece, like everyone has heard on organ, the da 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 that's harmonic minor. The, the characteristic note is that second to last one, the da 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 da, because that's the leading tone as opposed to natural minor would be da 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 da. Something like that. I was flat, but you get the idea. Fun fact, it's the same pro chord progression as Snow in Summer and the same key. Ooh, I knew it was the same key. I hadn't uh, observed the chord structure yet. That's very cool. Yeah, I, I do think it's interesting that there are so many similarities with Snow in Summer. In fact, this is something I'm going to discuss in the video. I've seen... Uh, this has nothing to do with the music theory, but I've seen somebody make a piano cover of Snow in Summer that has the main piano riff from Grandma in it, and it is sublime, I tell you. It's utterly gorgeous. So I I'm definitely going to link that when I make the Grandma video, because it deserves more views. It deserves all the views. If you want to look it up, it's just called, like, Snow in Summer Piano Cover, something like that. You need to fin finish Oathbringer. I need to restart Oathbringer because I only got a few chapters in and then I stopped forever and I haven't read Edge Dancer. Uh, we're talking about Brandon Sanderson novels, by the way. Toccata in D minor by Bach. I didn't actually know that was Bach. You're utterly gorgeous, got him. I found the Hades 2 announcement very amusing, raising hope for sequels to the other games. Ooh, that's an interesting point. I hadn't thought of that. I, I'm okay with the other games being over, though. I, I feel that they wrapped up very nicely. That said, I wouldn't be mad about it if they did make sequels. I think that's closed from the side, yeah. The Anthony that loses the fight will be called Antonio. Uh, turn up the brightness, dum-dum. I did, dum-dum. I know I'm reading the chat backwards now. Uh, it makes the dominant feel resolved despite the dissonance. Yeah, I love stuff like that. He he does something similar in um, Snow and Summer as well. I have to double check this, but I think both Snow and Summer and um, Grandma. No, maybe maybe just Grandma is primarily written by Kuniyuki Takahashi. It's really hard to I, I forget who it was, but somebody's been helping me in the comments 
figure out who has written what near pieces. It's really difficult because most of the time, like on Spotify, the whole album is just credited to Square Enix. And, and like, if it's not to Square Enix, then it's to Keiichi Okabe. And while, yes, he had the biggest hand in making those soundtracks, it was not a solo project. <laughs> and I, I just, I, I, I understand that it's like, very much within Japanese culture to not, uh, like, demand named credit for all of your work uh, because of, like, humility culture. But it just, it seems wrong to just be like, no, you wrote this frickin' piece. We should know that about you. I think 8-Bit Music Theory touched on Nier being mostly in natural and harmonic minor and the difference in sound. I did watch his Nier uh, soundtrack video. He, he talked about a few different things. I, I do think that that was one of the things he touched on. And he does talk about... Um, I believe he talks about secondary dominance as well, which I covered in the... Um, ooh, I just got an achievement for stealth attacks. It's weird to call that a stealth attack. I just walk up to him and he's like, uh. Um. What was I talking about? Probably near. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. 8 bit music theory. Yeah. Um. I, I remember he, he was talking about, like, elements that are common in the near soundtracks and he was saying that Shadow Lord has all of them. It's funny the the most common comment I get on my Shadow Lord video is like I have no idea what you just said, but it was kind of cool. And I'm just like shit, I tried so hard to make that video like accessible to the to the average everyday person without turning it into a music lesson like that you have to sit down in a classroom for and I don't think I quite made it there, but I, I'm proud of the effort I made. Are you playing on PS5 or PC? I'm playing on PC, which means that uh, I have to use the lowest graphical settings because my processor is from 2018 and I can't even run Windows 11. Def read, read uh, Edge Dancer first, not necessary though, but it's pretty short. Yeah, I like extended universe stuff and it's not a huge commitment. Actually, it's just the first four chords that are the same. Okay, B flat minor, F7, B flat minor, B, B flat minor, F7, F sharp diminished 7, F7. Everything is stealth if it's fast enough. I guess there's logic to that. No pun intended. Seriously, no pun intended. That just slipped out. Hi, all. How's the games going? It's going so okay. I've made no progress, but I haven't lost anything. So, you know, we've been having a good time. We looked at this near concept art book that my friends gave me for Christmas and it's very pretty and we're playing this game and it's very pretty maybe I'll even progress in this game today I would love to because it's very pretty uh where were we I need to catch up on chat hold on uh don't worry I grasped it Jonathan <laughs> thank you Somni Although you have uh, quite a bit of, of musical prowess, if I remember correctly. I know that you were working on your own Snow and Summer video when I uh, usurped that privilege from you. Granted, I already had some background in music, but it's like, I know what the G key is. <laughs> it is really hard to make a video about music theory without boring people or leaving people behind. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's okay that you had it in all caps. I, I enjoyed it, actually. I thought it was funny. As your average everyday person, I'll be honest, I had to watch your videos at least a couple times to keep up with everything. Your explanations are very clear and simple, but I'm not familiar. That makes sense. Um, I I honestly expect that to be the case. I, I deliberately go through everything very fast because I figure that as long as all of the information is there, um, then people should be able to like re-watch it and like maybe watch with subtitles on to to get anything that they missed if they really want to. It's just, it's so important to me that I don't get bogged down in explaining music theory because for one, that limits my audience because people who already know that stuff might get bored and click away. And for two, there's a lot of really good 
uh, music theory education videos on YouTube already and just free online music theory resources. And I don't see the the point in like retreading that ground. Like it's been done. Those people did a great job. There are so many resources online. So I, I try to like take something in the middle where it's like I I can't assume that people know music theory, but I can assume that if they really want to find more out, they can. Um, trying to read while evading attacks is difficult. Uh, about people not understanding, you would have to establish a lot beforehand. Yeah, I've actually been thinking when I have the time, it would be cool to make like a channel trailer that just goes over the most basic terms that keep coming up again and again, like obviously major and minor, but also tonic comes up in almost every video. Tonic is so fundamentally important. I find that I find it so much more helpful to talk about music in terms of um, tonic and scale degrees rather than actual note names because uh, like if you're just talking about note names then as soon as you try to apply what I talk about in my videos to any other key it's useless but if you talk about scale degrees it's universal um, oh yes but it was very it was way more general in themes because I major in English than music. Oh, very cool. Uh, there's people that are already making original compositions, people who just play an instrument, and people who can't point to a time signature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Because uh, my music theory knowledge is nowhere near that level, but my ability to describe and analyze themes is. That's all you need. I would be really interested in seeing a, a video from that perspective. And that's why I was saying, like, you could even still do the snow and summer video. Like, everybody has their unique voice. Uh, enough with the specific musical terms to keep up with everything in a go. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's what I do. One watch, then rewatch with subs on. Awesome. I'm glad that it works out for you that way. That is good to hear. So unless you want to have an hour-long video <laughs> explaining what tritones are and how they resolve, etc. Yeah, that's basically that's basically my my motto with it. Speaking of which, if you guys like um, really in-depth music theory stuff like that, Adam Neely, who I I had a clip of him very briefly in the Kingdom Hearts video. He's the guy who's like, "Wow, that's spicy." Um, he's a jazz musician who talks about music theory a lot, and he has a whole video about the tritone myth. Uh, there's a very pervasive myth, like, multiple professional musicians in, like, in pop music, in classical music, in neoclassical music. There's a very strong myth that the tritone was banned in medieval Europe because it was the devil's creation. And that is not true. <laughs> that, is, that was never a myth. But uh, a lot of metal bands use the tritone now to represent the devil. And it's like, hey, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy is still a prophecy. There's no pause button in this game? There is. It's this one. Uh, I just... I, I'm, I'm trying to learn to multitask. I'm trying. Uh, no, I appreciate the way your videos are orchestrated. <laughs> orchestrated because it has replay value well that's great to hear i'm glad uh the more I, I learn the more i grasp your videos excellent and this last one i think was probably one of the more beginner friendly ones because i i didn't talk that much about uh like degrees and chord relations it, it was mostly about structure and theming and anybody with like d decent english comprehension can keep up with most of that conversation. This is going very well. I love how well this is going. I love that it's going very well. Maybe it was a mistake to play a Soulsborne on, on stream. Maybe I just literally can't get past the things I need to get past if I'm also looking at chat. I should have learned this because before I started streaming on YouTube, I very briefly did a few streams for Sekiro in 2020. Sekiro is a FromSoft game. Uh, I don't know if I would call it Soulsborne, but it, it's got a lot of the same mechanics. And my god, I needed to stop playing that game because I just, I was getting nowhere in it. It's so difficult and my streams were just the same 
like death try again death try again actually Anthony Asher was there for that uh, Charles Cornell is very cool I like him I really liked his toxic video it like made my jaw drop Britney Spears is toxic has so much more going on in its chords than you would expect just based on it being a pop song from whatever year it came out like 2003 or something Pausing Soulsborne games is for the weak. Then call me weak. Um, in my experience, people generally aren't used to thinking about music in terms of theory. Yeah. So it will almost always feel dense if they are all, all not already familiar. Yeah. And that's just like an unfortunate truth about it. Um, like Kono said, like there, there's only so much you can do, right? You, you've got to make compromises on both sides. If you make it too much about music theory jargon, then you're only going to have an audience of people who can already figure out most of what you're saying on their own. Uh, but then if you explain everything, then the video becomes unwatchably long. Like if I were if I were to go over all of the same, uh, information in a in a lecture like a classroom lecture instead of a YouTube video essay uh, even just to teach all the same information it would probably take dramatically longer because I would be like repeating information and making sure everybody's keeping up taking questions stuff like that um, it's just it's its own medium and it, it needs its own rules one of these days I'll kill this guy with enough health left over to continue. Um, let's see. Meme, if you aren't living like someone who the church would burn 300 years ago, are you truly living? I gotta agree with that. I really do. I'll self-fulfill your prophecy. That's not what self-fulfill means. Played Code Vein on stream a few times. Yep, it's hard. I love Code Vein. Code Vein is one of my favorite games. Anime and Soulsborne? Sign me up. Um, I did notice you didn't actually show much raw sheet music. It turned out pretty well, though. Yeah, I was I was excited to try that new visualization with the motif blocks. I really liked how that worked. Uh, Sekiro is absolutely Soulsborne. Okay, I I'm I feel like there might be people who disagree with you just because it is fundamentally quite different from the other FromSoft games, but I, I'm tempted to agree with you that it's Soulsborne. Sekiro is definitely a Souls-like. Yeah, it's Souls-like. Yeah. I like the weak ones. I can break their train of thought and have a nice conversation <laughs> with them. No, I like music theory jargon. Well, you've got however much I've put in mine. <laughs> it's not going to get much more dense than that, but there's no danger of it going away either. I actually associate harmonic minor to the Britney Spears sound because when I discovered it through self-teaching the chord progression, I played was very Britney-esque. Ooh interesting uh can you give like an example of oh can you give an example of britney stuff that has harmonic minor because i have not really done any chord analysis on her music let's see is oops i did it again harmonic minor that's always my go-to britney song hmm I'm trying to remember, because, like, is it, oh, baby, baby, or is it, oh, baby, baby? Because that would be harmonic minor, but the first one's just natural. Can't think of some. Maybe I was more associating it to uh, TLC, who I hear often enough through my dad's music. I don't actually know TLC. Associate it with still, still with dark classical-ish sounds. I do two primarily. There are exceptions, of course. Uh, like every, every key and mode and scale uh, has like its its defining factors, but you're still like, there's still freedom within that. Um, we interrupt dodging puppies to talk about Britney Spears. This is a good stream. I like this place. <laughs> I like it too. Uh, what was I? 
I was having so much trouble with the dog enemies in Sekiro 2, come to think of it. Um, speaking of fun modes, uh, I, I didn't mention this because the video was about 13th Struggle and not Sacred Moon, but Sacred Moon is in Phrygian mode! How cool is that? Nothing's written in Phrygian mode. Phrygian mode is the mode uh, that's like one tier darker than natural minor. Well, I, I guess harmonic minor... Would you say harmonic minor is darker or brighter than natural minor? Anyway, Phrygian is the next mode after minor uh, in the downward direction. And it's just like, it's very sinister because you've got that, that chromatic half step between the tonic and the second. So you have all the tension between the leading tone and the tonic, but from the other direction. So it's just, it's really cool. It's like an upside down minor scale. Uh, it's like an upside down harmonic minor. That's actually a really good way of thinking about it. It's the people who make who made no scrubs. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Phrygian starts on the third, right? Honestly, I could not tell you. I'm not good at remembering modes by like which degree you start from. Like I know Mixolydian is from the dominant, but that's because it's like part of the circle of fifths rule. Um, I don't remember what Phrygian starts on. Oh wait, yeah, I guess it would have to, because it would either have to start on the major third or the major seventh, and it doesn't start on the major seventh. So yeah, starts on the third. There you go. But the way I usually remember modes is by how many, <clears throat> how many sharps or flats it has um, in regard to its parallel major, rather than what degree it starts on in regard to its relative major, if that makes sense. I'm sure it doesn't for a, a lot of people, but th that's j just how it's got to be when we get to this level of jargon. <laughs> the more you speak of Phrygian mode, the more I think I feel like we're descending into one-winged angel territory here. Go back, Cloud, you're too emo. Is... Is one winged angel Phrygian? I feel like one winged angel is probably harmonic minor, no? Have to say, I'm thinking I'm starting to discover how much goes behind the writing of a musical piece. Yeah! For most of my life, I thought mu composers just woke up and thought, you know what would sound cool? You know, Elena, a lot of people do write that way, uh, especially in pop music, rock, jazz, anything based off of jazz like rock. Um, because, uh, like, what I mainly talk about is from a tonal, um, a tonal 19th century European music theory standpoint, and it just doesn't apply to all forms of music. So, like, it, it, it's difficult to talk about some forms of music in the way that I do, because it doesn't follow the rules and patterns established in European tonal music. Um, so like if you, if you ask, I, there's this guy, Rick Beato, who does a lot of video essays about, um, about pop music and rock in particular. And he has this one really good video about Seal's Kiss from a Rose, where he actually does get to talk to Seal and ask him like, dude, you've got like, wh what was it? He, he, he's got like a, he's got like a seventh chord at the beginning of his melody in one of the phrases. And he's like. What the hell made you think to do that? And Seal's like, I don't know, man. It just sounded good. <laughs> so yeah, there, like y you can definitely study to understand what patterns probably will and probably won't sound good together. But some people just have the gift. They really do. No, probably not. Meh. Uh, but this amount of analysis is fascinating. The more I hear of it, the more I want to know. Yeah, that's isn't that a great place to be? I used to write a decent amount of music, but I haven't written in a while. Which is kind of embarrassing to admit because I'm technically the composer for a podcast that I haven't talked to in like a year. Should probably finish writing music for them. Uh, I should probably finish writing music for them. But I've just, I've gotten caught up in all this stuff. It's so much fun to talk about good music that already exists. I'm sure I'll write again at some point, but it's not my priority right now. 
but like it's it's a shared skill set you know like if you if you understand why music does what it does you can use that knowledge to write music that does similar things and of course it's it's like it's a fine line it's a very fine line with music between um like basing a piece of music off of a technique or something you've learned and just plagiarism because as many plagiarists will point out in defense of themselves there are only 12 notes in western music you've got a b c d e f g and a sharp c sharp d sharp and f sharp wait no and g sharp like there's only 12 notes in each octave so yeah there is a lot of of copying one another in music because there are probably millions if not billions of songs but the the amount of customization you can get by changing up the voices changing the chord progressions um changing melodies changing rhythms changing the order that you hit the scale degrees in like there there are just so many permutations of the same concepts that we're we're not in any danger of like running out of of good music you know i i i don't think anywhere in the foreseeable future we're going to hit the point where it's like well we did it every good song's been written don't think we're going to hit that point but theoretically there is a point where that would happen Uh, honestly, as a music producer, making things in certain modes is confusing to me. Like, I feel like if you're going to use white, if you're using white keys, your brain is going to want to go to an A or a C to resolve. Usually, yeah. And I mean, there's a reason that major and minor are the most common modes, so much so that they're called major and minor. Um, but it, it's it's so interesting because it's also it's subjective too, to a degree. Like, there. Um, like in Shadow Lord, we we I talked a little about how like uh, the the relative major is used in Shadow Lord a lot, so that even though there aren't any modulations or key changes, it still at some points feels like its tonal center is A. No, sorry, not A. Um, A flat instead of F. It like there there's a lot of I, I saw some some musician said it really well they said um there's no such thing as an objective tonal center there's no such thing as a music object as a piece of music e objectively being one mode or one key um it's just a matter of like what's helpful in the discussion like snow in summer is written in b flat minor you could say that it's you could like discuss it as if it were in well, I'm trying to think, what would another degree of that be? Uh, if it's B flat minor, then the third would be D. D? B flat, C. No, D flat. Um, and then the fifth above D flat. Why did I choose to do this? Fifth above D flat is G um, A flat right d flats fifth is a flat yes okay so you could talk about snow and summer being as being written in a flat mixolydian instead of b flat minor but it's not useful because at no point in the piece does it feel like um like a flat resolves any tension and that's completely subjective. Like, what does it mean? It feels like it resolves tension. Like, there's just, there's so much psychology involved in answering that question, but I'll bet you there's not a person alive who would hear A flat in snow in summer and be like, yeah, the song can end there. It's done. I talked a long time. I need to read chat. Uh, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Sometimes analysis is good beyond what a compose what the composer was thinking when making it. Still can be interesting and valuable though. Absolutely. Um, like for example, I still think that 
that uh, video about Seal's kiss from a rose was incredibly interesting. And like, no, Seal wasn't thinking about the chord progression when he wrote the song. That doesn't mean it's not interesting and worth looking at. That makes it cooler, in my opinion. Uh, like, I was just trying to figure out, uh, I'm kind of dating myself, but do you guys know Helena by My Chemical Romance? I recently realized that song's entirely in a major key. That is a very dark sounding song, but it's entirely in a major key, and I'm not 100% sure how that works. I'm still looking at it just out of personal curiosity. Um, but it's just, it, it's crazy. And I, I was telling my sister about it. She, she was saying like, wow, they really knew what they were doing when they wrote it. And I'm like, frankly, not necessarily. <laughs> they could have just had really good instincts in, a, instincts in a jam session and been like, wait, 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 that was amazing. Put it in. Uh, I used to write like that before I learned music theory. I still write like that to some degree. Um, you do need to understand that some styles of music are thought of differently, though. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There, there was a big push in the 20th century, from what I understand, to uh, suggest that like Western tonal music was the best model for music, just globally. And that's a lie. Uh, it's it's what I use to talk about music because it's how I learned about music and it's a pretty globally accepted model But it's not the only model my god. No, that would be so limiting actually uh, I'm honestly way better at understanding theory than actual playing or songwriting. I can't play anything. I want to learn piano I really do uh, I'm blue Abu Di Abu Dai just got re i'm gonna say remade into best freaking night of my life <laughs> wait what is that what i is that two different songs i'm confused um i just don't know how they can make your brain want to resolve to a b if you're using white keys for instance yeah well it's it's tricky because well let let's I know that Lydian and Locrian modes, which are the extremes, Lydian is the brightest mode and Locrian is the darkest, and it's really difficult to write in either of them because, like, there's such extreme modes that it's it's difficult to make uh, the listener experience resolution on the note that the tonic would have to be for it to be that mode, you know? So, like, if you're on all white keys, then B, oh gosh, what would that be? That would be Locrian, right? Let's see, because Locrian has a flat fifth. What's the fifth above B? Um, fifth above B is F sharp. So, yeah, white keys, the fifth would be B, C, D, E, F. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, basically nothing could make you resolve to be if you were on just white keys, because that would be Locrian mode, and it's just, it's insanely... 8-Bit Music Theory had a great video on Locrian mode, uh, where he gave a lot of different examples of it, uh, but then, like, admitted in the video that, like, you can argue that none of them are Locrian, because it, it can be argued that uh, what would have to be the tonic in order for it to be Locrian mode isn't the tonic. Uh, and the same is true of Lydian mode. Anyway, I'm so behind on chat. I missed Elena going to night. I'm uh, going to <laughs> going to bed. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I actually, I have to alt tab and scroll up. That's how behind I am. I, I got stuck rambling. Up, 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 up. A lot of modes work easily because they feel like major or minor with one or two changes. Yeah, the the uh, modes that are adjacent to major and minor, other than Lydian, are relatively... Like, Mixolydian and Dorian are very easy to write in um, because they're suspended between major and minor. So uh, there there's nothing to really... like. You, you can't transpose them too ridiculously. Um but then Phrygian's a little harder, and then Lydian and Locrian are basically impossible. 
Uh, didn't want to interrupt you while you were on a roll, but hello, I'm here, boop, boop, ba doop. Yeah, sorry, I just didn't stop the roll. Hey, everybody, this is my sister. She's real cool. Hello, Mr. Barouche and all other good humans. Oh, sorry about the bad humans here. Pedro didn't say hi to you. Hi, Pedro. Uh, Helena is both a great song and music video. Yeah, what's the worst that I can say? Uh, you could hurt my feelings. No, I know that's the lyric of the song. Me hitting chords until I get the one in my head. Oh, no, I don't know what that's like. Uh, I'm sorry to leave now, but I'm getting really sleepy. Please sleep. You probably already are sleeping as I say this. Wish everyone an amazing time and a good stream. See you next week. Take care, Elena. Thanks for coming. Uh, hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Song copied the melody from I'm Blue. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I know that song. I'm honestly not very versed in pop, and I don't mean that in like a hipster way. I just, I'm not very good about listening to pop. Uh, yes, it's Locrian. Uh, okay, so a song from the 90s, I'm Blue, sounds almost exactly the same as a current pop song by Re something. The only difference I could find is a change in key. Yikes! That's like, um, it's not quite the same, but I remember there was that song, I don't even remember the, the group's name, but it was very popular a while back. It's that song that goes like, oh, 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 oh. and it's like, almost exactly the same as Simon and Garfunkel's Oh Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. And it's just goofy that not many people talk about that. It, in my opinion, it's close enough to be called plagiarism. And it's not copyright infringement. Well then, uh, Eiffel 64, 65, what's that group's name? I feel like they don't have very good lawyers if it's as similar <laughs> as you're saying. Kind of disagree, I think of Lydian of I think of Lydian of, as just major with a sharpened fourth leading to fun stuff. Well, it's not quite a sharpened fourth because there is still the fourth in it. Wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of, um, I'm thinking of Locrian. Yeah, it, it is just major with the sharp, with the sharp fourth. Um, and Lydian can definitely work better than Locrian can. Uh, there's just, there aren't many examples of it, I don't think. And I'm not, I'm, I'll be completely transparent about it. I haven't listened to enough music that's in Lydian mode to say whether or not I agree that that it's in Lydian mode. Um, if, if you're going to play the Lydian scale as a melody, then yeah, that's pretty confirmably in the Lydian mode. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's a little more subjective usually, I think. Part of the problem with Lydian and Locrian is that both those modes have a tritone with the root. Yeah! And that's so weird to me that the brightest mode has a tritone in it. Lydian confuses the hell out of me. I'm gonna be real. And I'm playing the scale on my piano. Even the scale doesn't sound resolved when I finish it. But the point is still there. Locrian is crazy, though. It's a very popular meme. I feel ashamed for not knowing modes super well. I always need to look up how each one is different. I can tell you the starting note for each, though. That's better than me. I was just saying, I, re I remember them based on... Um, like I, the, the shortest way to say it is I remember them based on parallels instead of relatives. Um, like, I, I remember that... Uh, like, Mixolydian is major with a flat seventh, or Phrygian is uh, minor with a flat second. Um, rather than thinking like Mixolydian is the is the major scale if you start on the dominant. Like I don't think of it that way. But I, I know that there are like those are the two different ways you can think about it. And I do think it's more popular to think of it in terms of relatives instead of parallels. Uh, but what are you gonna do? I learned what I learned. Uh, yeah, that's why I love Lydian to be honest. Locrian literally sounds more like a C major scale, but started on a B than a Locrian mode. <laughs> uh, so true. I may have missed the past, like, 20 minutes. Well, don't worry, because I've been paused for 20 minutes. We've just been nerding the hell out about music theory, specifically modes. So welcome back, Somni. I'm gonna take a drink of water. I've been talking a lot. Okay, let's kill some robots. Oh, hello, controller. Could you work, maybe? There we go. Ho! Oh! 
No love for Dorian mode, I see, though. No, I like Dorian mode a lot. Scarsboro Fair is Dorian mode. Um, th okay. There's a lot of really cool music that modulates into Dorian mode. What, what was it I was just looking at recently that's in Dorian mode that I thought was super cool? I can't remember, but um, Dorian is really common in uh, pop and jazz music. Uh, and what makes Dorian, like the characteristic thing about Dorian is it's a little bit, like where Phrygian is a little darker than minor, Dorian's a little brighter than it. So, um, You'll, like, if you play a minor chord, it'll still fit in Dorian mode. Uh, but the, the sixth degree, which isn't typically in, um, like, like, resolving triads, it, it's not in anchor points of the, of the piece usually, but the sixth degree will be similar to the one in the major scale instead of similar to the one in the minor scale. So it's just a little bit brighter, and that lets it have sort of like this dark magic to it, because it's not quite somber like minor core, like minor keys are. Um, it's just got a little bit of magic to it. I really like Dorian mode, like Scarsboro Fair. Ooh, that is a gorgeous piece. Gorgeous. Uh, welcome back, Somni. I'm a based Phrygian enjoyer. I love Phrygian. Phrygian is so cool. You don't hear enough Phrygian. Uh, but what got us started on all of this was I was saying Sacred Moon, the the field soundtrack theme for um, the world that never was in Kingdom Hearts 2 is in Phrygian mode, which means that like the, the second degree is only a semitone above the tonic, uh, which is very unusual modally speaking there are only two modes where that's true and it's just it's got such a dark deliciousness to the resolution there i should get my counter attack out there it is baby i can totally play video game i'm gonna have to switch to portal 2 at some point because it's just the 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 soul's born the soul's born juice isn't really flowing in this very incredible talk that i don't want to stop having Scarborough Fair. Uh, also, I'm not sure, quite sure what you're doing in the game. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but it's a good background to our music theory chat. Scarborough Fair is, uh, it's that traditional uh, song. I think it's English. It's, are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And it's just, it is so nice. It's like very Celtic sounding. Uh, by the way, anyone here has watched the first episode of the Nier anime? Me, 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 I have. It was very good. I'll <laughs> sure, I'll watch it when I l watch it in a year. I'll like it when I watch it in a year. Did you know you can counter in Nier? I always forget that they even teach it to you in the tutorial, and I never do it. I have watched the first episode. Yes, but roll go brr. That's my motivation. That That's my motto with it, too. Oh, is the Nier anime out then? Only the first episode. No, no, I was just being a smartass. You said Scarsboro. Oh, my bad. Um, Scarborough Fair is such a lovely song. I did that song for my guitar method class final. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Portal 2 because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, for, for those who uh, weren't here last week or had to dip early, I've already gone halfway through Portal 2. So, um... Just be aware of that. We're starting halfway through. We're starting with chapter seven, The Fall. So let me boot that up really quick. I have, the episode was really nice, but the CGI was interesting. I didn't have a problem with the CGI, but there's no denying, wait. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do at all. Stop, you stop that right now. Where's my... Where's the that? There's the that. <clears throat> Bye, robot puppet lady. You mean to be? Can't wait to watch Trigun Stampede. I don't know anything about Trigun, like, at all. Um, I liked the first episode of the Nier Automata anime, but I was hoping that we would see something different from the video game in it. Uh, and we did not... I mean, except the bit at the end. I loved the bit at the end. You know if you know. Um, I know that there are some original... 
hold on. Th this dialogue is good. I don't want to talk over it. Um, uh, I, I, what was I saying? I know that there are going to be original plot elements in the anime, and I really look forward to those. Uh, but yeah, like it, it was fun to see everything reimagined as an anime, and I loved that they're using the actual game soundtrack in like the same ways. Oh my god, I turned up my speakers irresponsibly loud during Alien Manifestation. But uh, yeah, I was I was kind of hoping for more than just a translation from from uh, 3D to 2D. And it's not even fully to 2D, because as you said, there's CGI. And while it doesn't bother me that the CGI isn't top tier, it's confusing to me that it's not top tier, because uh, they had money for this. The bit at the end was fantastic. Might be a little nitpicky, but looking closely at some of the scenes, they don't even animate the mouths of the characters if they aren't hand-drawn. Yeah. You mean 3D to 2. B. Yeah. You got me. You got me. Okay, so last time in Portal 2, we uh, we went through the, the Aperture Laboratories with Wheatley, and he hel helped us evade GLaDOS, and we shut her down and swapped him out to replace her. Um, and then he became corrupt with power and had an insecurity small dick complex, and uh, he shoved us down an elevator hatch, and now GLaDOS is running in a potato battery. Just realize you haven't done an analysis on a near automata track yet. I want to so bad, but you know, there's so much I want to talk about, and um. Uh, we'll come back to this in a second. Yeah, I really want to talk about a near automata track. Really, 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 really bad. But there's so much that I really, 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 really want to talk about. You know, so um. You know, it, it's been on... I've had Nier Automata tracks on the Patreon polls a few times. Uh, they haven't won yet, but I know they will in time. Uh, well, I'll, I, th I think the next poll, the one that goes up in February for the March video, is going to be almost all Nier tracks because I just... I, I've been getting so many requests for them, and that's really exciting. Um, but people also want to hear more Kingdom Hearts. People want to hear more Celeste. Um... A lot of people want to hear Drakengard. I haven't played Drakengard, though, so I don't know those soundtracks or those games. I don't know how good a uh, job I could do talking about it. Um, yes, we got that twist last time on Portal 2, where you totally tricked us. I tricked you. Frick Automata! What do you mean? I'd recommend Voice of No Return. I love Voice of No Return. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I just... Oh. It's so beautifully sad i've never heard such uh, I, i've never heard a piece sound so sad without like e like the the sadness is all from the music theory you know it's not at all from the vocal performance and that's just that's fascinating to me uh the main thing is which track to cover first from near automata well you guys will have to decide that not me all my homies love and secret hate near automata trash game Somebody, what are you talking about? <laughs> I love her. I'm sure we'll be fine. I just say stuff. <laughs> City Ruins is rather prominent, and that vocal line just gets stuck in my head anytime I explore the city. City Ruins, I, I said on a previous stream that I feel that City Ruins is the main theme of Nier Automata. Uh, Song of the Ancients is obviously the main theme of Nier Replicant. Um, and I just, mm, yeah, I definitely will absolutely have a City Ruins video at some point, probably this year, I would imagine. 
I wish I could subscribe to your Patreon. I'd love to support you further. Definitely on my list. Thank you. Honestly, the intention is there, and that means the world to me. I absolutely know what it's like to want to give people money that you can't responsibly give them. I'm in that position all the damn time. Uh, so, like, I, I I feel the love. Don't don't worry about it, truly. And, like, it, all of you just being here, I, I know it's cliche for streamers to say this, but that's because it's true. We just want you here, even if you don't talk. It's just, it's wonderful to know that there's somebody there. So thank you. Somnia, I appreciate the chaos. So, haven't actually played any of the Nier games yet. Ooh, where's the best place to start? Honestly, you could start anywhere. I don't know anything about the mobile game, Nier Reincarnation. Um, but I will say that while Replicant came out for... So, th there's a bit of confusion in that Replicant and Gestalt... Gestalt... How do you say it? Gestalt? Um, Replicant and Gestalt are essentially the same game. The only difference is that in one, uh, you have a sick sister, and in the other, you have a sick daughter. That's literally the only difference. Um, so those are essentially the same thing. Um, and then Nier Automata is technically the sequel, but while the lore experience is certainly richer if you play Automata 2nd. It's not mandatory to play Automata 2nd. I actually played it first. I didn't play Near Replicant until it was remade and re-released last year. Zoom! Zoom! Zoomies! Just kidding, it's that kind of zoom. Um, 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 um. So yeah, you, I, I would say probably Replicant or Automata. Or Gestalt, but that's only out on, like, PS3 with 2010 graphics, so maybe not that one. Gestalt. Uh, I'm back. What did I miss? Well, we're on Portal 2 now, and we talked about music theory, like, a lot. Like, a lot. No, like, a lot. More than we ever have on this stream. It was very exciting. I would recommend starting with Near Replicant, even though there is no real need to play it before Automata. I do think that Automata is a slightly more fun game. Uh, so do with that information what you will. If hack and slash is not your genre, then I would argue play Automata, because if you're only going to play one of the two, that one's my favorite. Um, but if you do like the hack and slash genre, absolutely play Replicant first. I'd advise against playing Reincarnation to get the whole story you need to grind it like a full-time job. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Hope we get to see a new Nier game in the Kingdom of the Night. I don't know what that means. I, I need you to explain that to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not smart. Like most gacha games. Yeah, that's my problem. I burned out so hard on Genshin Impact. I played it religiously for the first, like, three months after it came out. But then, you know, I got vaccinated and started having to go to work again. And I haven't played it since. <laughs> Um, same, I didn't even know about the original Nier when I played Automata. Oh, wow. I actually, I remember when the first Nier came out, because it was around the time that, uh, Final Fantasy Versus 13 had been announced, and I was hyped for that, so I was just, like, stalking the Square Enix website, so I saw when Nier came out, and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool, but it was not well received at first, so I was like, well, never mind, but now, you know. <laughs> um, thank god I missed that I have a passionate hate against theory I feel like you're lying to me I played Automata first and it didn't hinder the experience yeah same oh yeah Automata is definitely the more polished combat system oh god Kingdom of the Night is from Drakengard right I don't know anything Kingdom of the Night is something from near lore uh, so without getting into the tons of lore I don't know if you've noticed, but in all the Nier games, it's almost, it's always daytime. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Basically, the Nier world, the Earth stops rotating, and Japan is constantly in the day, whereas areas of Australia and South America are always in the night. Don't remember, remind me of Versus 13, I still mourn what could have been me frickin' too, dude. 
Oh, I was... Final Fantasy XV might be my least favorite Final Fantasy that I've played. Hey! I was explaining! It's a tag team effort. You're both beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I, I did know that... Um, I did know that the Earth wasn't rotating in the near games, but I did not know that uh, the the dark parts had any sort of lore presence. I didn't know that uh, that had been explained at all, or explored at all. Kay Hizzle, you said something that the filter said um, is bad. Theory is stupid and has too much vocab. Sorry, Pedro. What? Why would that be filtered? I don't even have the filter turned on. I've turned off every filter setting I can, and it's still doing stuff like this. What, because you said stupid? What, I... YouTube has a zero-tolerance policy for cyberbullying, apparently. Respect in inanimate concepts, young lady. I rewatched the trailer yesterday. Ooh, to mourn what could have been. Versus 13 was gonna be so cool. Oh, well. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Versus 13 was a spinoff of Final Fantasy 13 that was supposed to take place in the same universe, but have completely different characters and plot. And it took so long to come out that they eventually just released it as Final Fantasy 15. And it wasn't good. It like it's 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 not good. the The combat is one note. The exploration is dull. The characters are not very interesting. Um, you do the whole thing either in a car or on the back of a chocobo or on foot. The first two are too fast to collect all the resources and see everything in between, and the latter is too slow to ever finish the game. It's just it's it's freaking bad i tried so hard to like it too i really did <laughs> respect at all cost shout out to brando sp for his lore videos i like brando sp apparently i need to watch more of him uh dumb dumb did that get blocked no dumb dumb is fine gotta go bye everyone bye logic sorry if i missed you uh versus 13 trailer looks so good what happened i know really what happened Final Fantasy 16 looks really cool, though. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what to expect yet. I don't know if I've seen the most recent trailer, but it almost looks like it's going to be a boss rush game. Like, only one-on-one -on -one fights? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Kingdom Hearts 4 is basically going to be versus 13, but with Disney, Nomura is determined to have his dream realized. By the way, hey, everyone. Hey, Lily. Welcome back. Versus 13 also gave us Somnus from Yoko Shimomura. I have to check that out, then. Hi, Lily. Have to go again, I'll probably join later. <laughs> but you never know. Well, bye if it's bye, and see ya if it's see ya. Take care. Anyway, play in Portal 2. Yep, it's important to play the game that uh, is on your thumbnail and in your title and description. That's why we're playing Portal 2. I don't remember how to get over this fence. I remembered how to get over this fence. This part of the game gets much more not open, it's still linear, but there there's just there's so much more what the fuck do I do now? Because it's just like these aren't these aren't test chambers anymore. These were not meant to be traversed in the way that the test chambers were. This is just like condemned property deep under the laboratory. No, Steel Rising just did a crossover with Portal. Yeah, 11 years later. Yeah, I love the part in Steel Rising where Portal... I really like how ominous this part is. Test shaft 9. Do not enter. Zulu Bunsen? That was my rapper name in college. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh 
Oh. Ooh. What could it be? It's like my favorite plot twist in the game. There's just this tiny little door with just a push bar. After that huge, dramatic, pneumatic seal, it's just... Hi. Oh yeah, you, you wanna go through here? Oh, here's a desk chair. Zulu Bunshin Burner. <laughs> uh, speaking of 11 years later, do you like Bleach? I haven't seen the anime. I, I read some of the manga in high school, but oh my god, I'm dating myself. Um, but, uh, I didn't get very far in it, to be totally honest with you. Um, I, I'm not much of a shonen fan in general. I, I tend not to like action shows very much. Um, I'm not totally sure why. I, I, I think it's just, like, I'm, I'm more interested in, um, like, mystery-based plots. It, not necessarily mystery, like murder mystery, but just... Uh, plots where you have to figure out what's going on in the lore, like Nier. Um, and I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not drawn in by, by the flashy fight moves. Uh, Bleach is so good, the new season. Uh, GLaDOS and Marie Antoinette eat cake every Wednesday. That's so true. They, they have so much in common. Let's talk about cool names. I love the new season. Uh, you are totally free to talk about Bleach. I just won't be able to join you. Um, I stopped with Bleach after the Aizen fight. It felt right ending there. See, I like met Aizen. I think that's where I stopped. <laughs> Shadow's House. If you like the Eisen fight, you will like the new season. Yeah, I'm watching Shadow's House right now, actually. I like it a lot. Uh, Death Note is still one of my favorite animes, though. I really love Death Note up until, you know, that point. Bleach was way, uh, was, it was a way of life back in the day. It really was. It, it was like, it was such a big part of my social circle. Uh, finish, never finished it, haven't watched the new arcs yet. I'll be real with you guys, I thought Bleach ended a long time ago. It, it was on hiatus for years, wasn't it? Honestly, yeah, it felt resolved after the Aizen fight, but the new season is such a huge jump in quality from the main series before that it's worth it. Erased was one of my favorite animes, haven't seen that one. Hello? There we go. Oh! Hmm. I know. Hi, Cave. To science. Oh shoot! <laughs> Almost didn't do that in time. Ah. Anime ended in like 2012. Yeah, I really can't believe Kira just became the president of the U.S. towards the end. Yeah, I hate. Man, Death Note really went downhill after that. No, the manga ended in 2018. The manga ended. Yeah, what Kano said. Erased as a favorite anime is kind of crazy, but I respect the opinion. <laughs> the first anime ended while the manga was tying up its final chapters, I believe. I see. Jonathan is a silly. I don't know what you're talking about. That was close. I don't know what you're talking about. Science adventure. Potato. Spirit of Idaho. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. 
Good news and bad news. Good news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Terrifying. Somni is the new villain of Bleach better than Aizen? No. <laughs> Time travel is a very cool concept in storytelling. I I find that it very often is not done well. I feel that oftentimes it'll it'll get too hand wavy and it'll uh, you know fail to answer some pretty important questions that it raises. There will sometimes be contradiction. Like, you know, there's two models of time travel. There's the overwrite model and there's the completion model. I mean, those aren't the actual names. That's what I call them. Like, there's the overwrite model where you go back in time and you, like, kill somebody's grandfather and then they disappear in the present. Uh, and then there's the completion model, which is like Harry Potter 3, where you go back in time, but you're not able to change the past. You can only finish what was already established. And a lot of time travel stories will try to do elements of both. And it's just, it's a complete logical contradiction and it breaks the whole story for me. Steins Gate is wonderful. Steins Gate is almost a perfect story. It just like, is almost guilty of a hate crime in that one part, but it is so good. Time travel is very... We can't have it all. Um, Pedro doesn't. That mean that isn't. That doesn't mean it isn't good. It's phenomenal. Most of the time, it's just confusing or breaks the story. Yeah, most of the time. Hey, it can be done very well though. It can be done extremely well. I like to turn off my brain when there's time travel, cause, <laughs> or else I'll come up with the paradoxes on my own. Yeah, that's that's the unfortunate thing is like time travel as a plot device requires, or at least invites the audience to start thinking really hard about the implications of everything. But then the lore will sometimes be like, because we decided. It's like, well, if if you're not gonna have any lore to your any logic to your lore, then just like. Make it all magic spells instead. Uh, it's just that Aizen steals the show every moment he's on screen in the final arc. Even Kingdom Hearts tried the time travel, and it's really weird. It sure is. It's very weird. It's like, kind of the completion model? Kind of? Uh, Kingdom Hearts went, ahead, went head first into the time travel thing. If you like him, I heavily encourage you to read or watch the newest Pedro. Uh, the newest arc comma, Pedro. Also, I really need someone to talk to about it. Hey, uh, you could do that on the Discord. There's a Discord server now. This is so much better than Steel Rising, because, like, I'm still going slowly, but at least I'm not dying. Hey. Hey. Do what I freaking tell you! Thank you. Safety first. Together we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualty anim ever. Good luck with that. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. They do say that. Oh. Sure we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Gumption and bootstraps, right? There is indeed! Wow! A Discord! Ironic, since all of our videos are about harmony. <laughs> Open! Thank you. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're repulsion gel. bone in his legs. Hmm. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Excellent. Also, I really like how Stephen Hawking proved that time travel wasn't possible just by throwing a time traveler's party and announcing it after it took place. No one showed up and he got an award for that. <laughs> I 
I didn't know that. That's amazing. Did you know? Aperture Science... I can barely read that. Aperture Science Fact Placard. I think that's a serial number. Repulsion Gel. Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. It's true, the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequent, subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Okay. Consult the following fact placards. Repulsion gel. Lawsuits concerning. Propul repulsion gel. Public outrage over. Didn't Stephen Hawking also use One Direction as an example for f parallel worlds or something? What? Yeah, I love the sense of humor in this game, Kono. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious if... if uh, I'm curious about this parallel worlds thing because that parallel worlds and the overwrite model of time travel are pretty intrinsically linked. And there's always the question of like what if what if when the time travels went back in time to go to Stephen Hawking's party, they just went to a parallel universe other than ours, you know? I don't actually believe that. I don't believe in parallel universes, but I'm willing to be proven wrong about it. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in quantum physics lately, and like a lot of stuff that we thought was true is being questioned right now. But generally speaking, uh, I do not believe in time travel or parallel worlds. My beliefs are very boring. I'm just a boring guy. I'm sorry, does that not open this door? Fine. 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 We'll do it your way. <laughs> Yay, bouncy gel. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. He seems stable. Hold on. Nope, that is not portalable. Even though I've played this game many times, I can never remember where to freaking go. It's just, it's so open ended. Well, it seems open ended, but there's only ever like one place you can actually go. It's just a matter of finding it. I don't consider that like a flaw in the game. I think it fits the atmosphere of this area pretty well. But it can be a little frustrating. Uh, so I just left to join the Discord, and I haven't used Discord in so long I legit thought I had deleted the app at some point. Imagine my surprise, finding out I still have it. Welcome! Yeah, and I don't know if you'll be able to remember, but you can call me const- Oh, no, I, I didn't remember that. I Oh, if you'll be able to remember. I can try. I can absolutely try. Const. Got it. Only reason I'm called Kono is because I started using this channel for my music. And my name for music is Kono. Okay, Const. I will do my best. I believe in the one true great Yoko Taro. How to use Discord, though? Not sure if I remember. That'll be fun. Ah, you just type and hit enter. Where is GLaDOS? I miss GLaDOS. Yeah, she got taken away by a crow. So, you know. Fun to see inside the mind that created GLaDOS, isn't it? Actually, I, I don't know for sure that he created GLaDOS. He was just the first CEO of Aperture. In 
D6. The best year for no one. <laughs> Bouncy jail. Uh, but yeah, Somni, sorry about it. Uh, Gladys is not going to be in the rest of the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, she she's she's gone and dead, and you should get used to it. Mm -hmm. Lily on Discord, we just post stuff on the various channels. We can post food or music things. You make it sound so easy. I have grandma brain cells regarding technology. Me too, Lily. I also have grandma brain cells because that's the next video I'm gonna make. Hey, LMAO. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. There we go. Hey! Oh, in Made case it. You got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this it's a lively one. And it does not like the human skeleton. You sold this as a supplement, you monster. Anyway. Jonathan, are you lying to us again? I've never lied. I wasn't ready for that pun, Jonathan. Thanks for the tips, Pedro. Now, every time I see a new kind of TV remote, I'm just like, oh, no. Asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Mm. Because that's not part of the test. Mm. That's asbestos. Mm. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. We've <laughs> forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and make the happy face. I forgot about that. That's goofy. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Hey, question! Where do I go? Where do I go? Where can I portal? Oh! Hello! That'll do. That'll do, pig. This facility is so professional. I know, right? I wish I could be that professional. Thanks. You make up your own rules, just like me. I do. That's literally illegal, sir. How did this company last long enough for, like, supercomputers to be part of them? This is when it gets fun, because now you can start, like, Fling in the goo like paint. I choose where the goo goes. To be fair, I don't actually know when, like, equal opportunity employment became a law. Maybe it didn't exist in the 50s. Maybe you could fire somebody in the 50s for being in a wheelchair. Oh. Oh wait. Uh, eh, ah, the momentum. He'll get there someday, Jonathan. Yeah. Probably. Ah. Uh, oh shit! I forgot. No. I messed it up, you guys. Flinging the goo just reminds me of the final fight with Wheatley. Yeah. Spoilers. Just kidding. It's not really a spoiler. Like, yeah, there's gonna be a fight with Wheatley. Oop. Who has played Portal 2? It's a classic. When it came out, I was so excited. I'd been waiting so long for it. And then I played the whole thing in one sitting. I was so mad at myself. Because, uh, as you may know, uh, there has not been any Portal content since. Not officially, anyway. There's been, like, a fan... There's a pretty good fan mod called Portal Stories Mel. 
uh, I think it might be free on Steam. It's pretty good. I might play it on stream sometime. It's been a while. It's pretty challenging, though. Um, now, if you're 1958. We implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, <laughs> let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh my god. How do I not remember any of this dialogue? Um, oh, okay. I got you. I, I see what needs to happen here. Boom. Wait. Boom. There it is. Oh, oh gosh. Um Okay. What uh what do I do? 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 Why can't I remember? Okay, at least it lasts for a while. It oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Come on. I want to push the button. Push the button. Push it. The there we go. Boing. Easy. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next Anywho. <laughs> Not Wheatley. I never saw that coming. I've only played parts. I've never played the whole game. Hmm. Isn't 500 degrees a little late? Just a thought. Forward and backward. So pretty late. It's pretty late. I don't care if you're talking... Wait, did he say... Did he say what type of degrees they were? Because I don't care if it's Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin. You're dead. You're so dead. You're so dead before then. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. It's like a little embarrassing how little I remember about this part of the game. I assume that's a good thing to do. Yeah, that, that, that looks like it'll do a thing, right? Let's say yes and call it good. Yeah! Hmm. Well, I don't want to go back down there. But I probably do want to place a portal for some gel. Gel. Hooray for the thing. Uh, let's do that. Gel. Gel. Uh, sure, that, that, that looks like it's probably helpful. Yeah! Hmm. 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 Hmm? Mm-hmm! The lowest would be 500 Kelvin, which is 226.85 Celsius, which is 440.33 Fahrenheit, which is just, you know, the heat of your oven when you're making tuna casserole. Yeah, so it would literally cook your insides. At least you'll be well done. Nothing rare about you. And not quite burnt either, hypothetically. <laughs> I like this part. Breaking things is nice. Oh! Let's wash all your goop off. Uh, 20, 2011 graphics of what water looks like. That's water. That's what water looks like. Hey, can I be the first one to share my pet pic on Discord? You absolutely can, Marco. Go for it. I look forward to seeing it. 
Actually, I see that there's been some activity on the Discord. I'll check that out. I don't know, maybe not on stream, but definitely after, if not during. Maybe at some point I'll do like a stream where we just go through everybody's pet picks. That would be really nice. Why am I acting like this is hard? Why did you stop? Oh, because that's where the... Good one, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Stop, stop. Excellent, not helpful. Aw, a good dog. Just a well done human brain. Yummy. Didn't I hear somewhere that like eating a human brain would make you violently ill? Oh, come on, Jonathan, there's a button. And it's connected to the th Why am I having so much trouble? Why am I having so much trouble? Hey, go there and go there. Yeah. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out? Because you are fired. I use test subjects. You're doing fine. Yes, you. Hmm. It's a bit of a hostile workplace. Not for that guy anymore, though. <laughs> He's a really cute doggo. Probably just because of the amount of nerves. Fair. Oh, yeah, I think we talked about that during your Eat of the Finch stream. We did, didn't we? Oh, good times. I knew I kept you guys around for a reason. To talk about cannibalism. Probably can't even chew it. Let's not even get into the psychological effects of eating a human brain. You like absorb memories by osmosis. You know what? Why not is a perfectly valid reason. Well, she is a gem. Yeah, uh, Pedro, I can totally see you working at Aperture Labs. That would be a very healthy, good decision. Hey, today in Portal 2, we'll be looking at how do you get out of a condemned building? Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. I leave for 10 minutes and suddenly we're on cannibalism. What? Sorry, you had to find out this way. <laughs> yeah, we were, um,. There, there was a, a pre-recorded tape from good old Cave Johnson uh, saying that th there was, like, a chip implanted in some test subjects' brains. And it's like, hey, if you hear an alarm, it's about to hit 500 degrees. And we were talking about uh, what that would do to the human brain. And we landed on Cook It very nicely. I remember right you gotta do that and that and you go through that and you do that oh boy yeah easy as pie uh oh
I get the feeling the Discord chat is going to be even more chaotic. I hope not, because I don't currently have mods. Look forward to it. I've never made pie, so I don't know if it's easy. You know, it's probably not to make, like, good pie. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the test thing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Oops. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room. Which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're in. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anybody else smudge up the glass down there? In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? I love watching this, like depressing decline of aperture laboratories where in the 50s it's like yes we have olympians as test subjects and they're like hey we'll give you 60 dollars please don't poop in the hallways <laughs> i only know humble pie we've made strawberry pie from the recipe in the celeste collector's edition that's so cute wasn't too difficult and it was very tasty that sounds really good video game recipe guys i'm going to bed because it's 4 a.m now thank you so much for staying up with us you freaking astronaut uh time to sleep it's been a pleasure i'm very glad to meet you marco thanks for coming be sure to tune in next week we'll see you then strawberry pie does sound delicious oh now i want pie <gasps> somni somni are you here somni it's your friend No. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. What if that's a lie? That makes sense, actually. Love her. Where are we? How long have I been out? That extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball that little idiot is going I heard that um originally Potato GLaDOS was um a little more like cold and hostile but people found her like too abrasive and so she like has a little bit more of a temper in the final release and like a little more human characteristics and i'm gonna be real i hate it like there there's one point where she says like we're going to find out what the hell is going on here and i'm like you are an ai ma'am you're a rogue ai that loves to kill and test where do you get off saying what the hell Who is that? I'm sad Somni's not here. Hey, it's me! Ha ha! Hoo hoo! Hee hee! Ha ha! Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. So the blue stuff is bouncy and the orange stuff is slidey. Which one is which? I'll do that. Oh boy. Um, hmm. How am I gonna... 
Okay, I, I, I got you. 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 Ow. So, we'll have one here. And then I'll run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. And boom. Well, that wasn't really what I was looking for. Uh, you prefer a more robotic GLaDOS then? Yeah, I like her the way she talks in the first game in the first half of this one. Did the cannibals get Sahomni? I have returned again. What's new? Uh, we're still playing Steel Rising. Oh wait, no, you were we were already on Portal 2 when you were when you last left. Never mind. How do you want to get in K AK Hizzle? There was a discussion about cannibals at one point. Yeah, you missed that, sorry. I know that's like your favorite topic, right? Who doesn't like a good talk about cannibals? Eh. Bum 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 bum. Why can't I remember how to do this right? Oh, I can think of a way to do this right. We'll just do this. There we go. Look at that. Okay, now what? Um... Yeah, I guess, I guess this is the move. Then we can go back there. And then we can go back there. Okay. Boop. I don't know if you can hear it, but the soundtrack changes subtly when you're interacting with Goop. Hmm. Don't remember how to get back there. How about like this? That'll work. And then, that's right, now I remember. We're gonna go, wee Did it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Yay, cannibalism. You know this facility is really a remnant of a broken age. <laughs> Are you making fun of me because I never play the game that's in the thumbnail? I love talking about my hobby for legal reasons. That's a joke. What legal reasons? There are no laws on this stream. Well, that's not that's not true. <laughs> we don't joke here. That's not something we do. This is a serious stream for serious gamers, major league gamers. If you don't have a Metro a Super Metroid speed run of five minutes, I don't want to talk to you. We're just serious people. We're very serious people. Very serious people. Uh, so that's gonna go there, and that's gonna go there. <laughs> Freaking there. And then we gotta do that. So there's a little boop, and then wait, no, I did it wrong. Now I remember you gotta do that first, cause then it makes the floor all slippery. <laughs> And then you do that. Oh, frick. Okay. This is one of my favorite jumps in the game. It's just, it's very satisfying if I can remember what I'm supposed to do with. Oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't put that there yet. Watch out. No, we do that. No, just kidding. We do that. And that. Boop, boop. And now we do that. Here we go. 
You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Well. Here we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, my bad. That's on me. 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 Since when are we serious? We goof around like it's our career. I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't sound like me. Were we the real clowns all along? Seriously working on doctorates for clowning around. Hey, There it is. Oh, I had to reuse his old tapes. Gonna go again. Going to watch a movie. That sounds fun. Have fun, y'all. Again, might pop back in around 8-ish. Bye. Oh, wow. It's only 722 Pacific. I felt like I'd been going forever for some reason. Not in a bad way. Just feels like so much has happened, you know? I do like the sound of having some science stuff in me. Don't you guys? I think I'm remembering how to do this, right? But then also, I need to go here. I don't remember why, but I mean, like, level design, obviously. You have to go here at some point. Oh, now I remember. Okay. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you. So, we're going to do that. No. We're going to do that. And that. There it is. Good job. Okay. Oh, uh, frick. <laughs> Mind the gap. Are you Pacific? I am. Mmm, uh, science flavor. Seems bright out. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just the diffusion from my light. Oh, wait, no, that's my lamp in, over by the... No, it's dark here. Like my soul. It's a stupid lazy joke. I apologize. I'm better than that. Weighing down your bindle. So patronizing. Okay. Trying this again. Come on, there you go. Good job. And I need to get that cube. How do I get that cube? I don't remember how to get that cube. How do I get that cube? I'd like to get that cube. What if I just go here? How about that? How do I get that cube? Why can't I remember how to get that cube? I think I might have remembered how to get a cube. If I launch myself like a chimpanzee. <laughs> Do chimpanzees get launched? Is that even a valid metaphor? Okay. Okay. Hello! Excellent. Eh. Gotta go there. Said gotta go there! Okay. Oh, it looks like a window. That's a bright light. Goddamn. Uh, I don't know why this is happening. I've... I'm having to, like, manually put goddamn through. Like, I... I'm gonna have to futz with the settings, because I... 
the last multiple streams, I have been having to like put the, the mildest messages through. And as far as I know, I have all of the filters turned off at this point because they're just too aggressive. And you guys are trustworthy. None of you said anything actually bad. Yet. Jonathan, were you Norded as well? Not as far as I know. Why do you ask? I don't remember what I said that would have made you think that. Oh, darkness. Dark like my soul. Yeah, got it. Yep, 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 yep. No. No, I've not been Norded. Not as far as I'm at go willing to admit to you anyway. Oh, I didn't even see that Lily left. Dang it. I'm sorry. Bye, Lily. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Thanks for so coming, Const. Uh, good to actually talk to you. Thanks for uh, checking us out. Hope to see you again. boop a doop boop a doop 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 Wait, no, that's not what that that's not what I meant to oh, okay. It's not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do. What I need is to fly out of there. Wee That's my favorite jump in the game. <laughs> I'll keep my eye on you. Also, will you ping the Discord when you go live? Because I'm not used to going on YouTube for streams. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I need to figure out how to do that with YouTube integration so that, like, it'll do it automatically. Uh, but yes, I do plan to set that up. I will try to have it running by next week. But thanks for your interest, and I will see you next time. I also want to set something up so that people will only get pinged by those notifications when they want to. Because I know I get irritated if I've got, like, YouTube pinging me about a stream and Discord pinging me about a stream. So hostile. Just so hostile. Beard dirt. My god. I get mine for free. I meant my eye on Jonathan, but you know, you never know. Let's go up there. Cool, we're up there now. It's nice having a portal gun. Mm. Yeah. Of course I can handle myself. What help have you been? Um, ooh. That looks important. There we are. Okay. 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 <laughs> Made it. Oh no! Oh no! That is not where I want that to be at all. Just come, come. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm actually. Oh no! Now I remember. Now I remember. Now I remember. I do want this here. But 
don't want to hit the railing. I really don't. I do want this here, but I want the other one there. Okay. Here goes. We. Welcome to the. Oh uh, yeah, she is oddly emotive. Did the potato change her? I mean, a little bit, yeah, because she um, she's only running off of like one point something volts now. But you would think that that would make her less emotive, not more. He looks good. I bet it can. I almost pity him, but I do not. Those coughs are probably nothing. Yeah, when fictional characters cough, it's usually not a plot event at all. <laughs> it's a long elevator ride. Where are we at? 1982? That's almost, that's not almost here. Ooh, you know what's gross? 1982 is closer to 1956 than to 2023. Um. Well, it's all got to start here. A gel that makes portal walls! You're right, that is gross. I hate that. <laughs> just... Let's, let's just get white stuff all over the place. I know how that sounded. I'm okay with it. Ah! Not on me, though. So many jokes could be made here. <laughs> yeah, like about glue. <laughs> Anyway. Ah! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think this was one of the test chambers that took me the absolute longest in my first playthrough. It is just not intuitive. Like, once the white gel comes out, there's just... It's so open-ended all of a sudden. You can make anything a portal surface. Oh, shit. There we go. This isn't going well. How am I going to get it to hit the right angle? Come on now. Oh, okay, so the white stuff is for portal making. Yeah. 
pretty much anything in the game that's white can be portaled. Oh, and I will repeat this because it actually is important to the plot later. Um, but he he mentioned that um, he he made this white gel by grinding up moon rocks. I need it to spray back this direction, though. I don't want to go back down. Actually, it's not a big deal if I go back down. It's Moon Goo! Sounds like a bad early 2000s toy. You see it on, like, Nickelodeon? Moon Goo! Oh wait, Moon Shoes, that's what I'm thinking of. Do you remember Moon Shoes? Even as a kid, I was like, that seems not fun. If I remember right, they were just like platform lemon, sneakers. Make yeah. Make life, take the lemons back. yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, I do remember Moon Shoes. <laughs> So unbalanced. Really wanted them sock em boppers though. They seemed underwhelming. I think I did have sock em boppers. And my sister and I had fun with them, I don't know, like three times. Oh, he's fucking dead. Those are not the sound of, sounds of someone who is on the mend. How do we go through this part? I imagine it goes a little something like this. Oh! Oh shit. Fuck. It's not good. That could be worse. Okay, now I at least have an objective. What? No, he's fine. Yeah, he just he played with his sock and boppers a little too much. Shit! God damn it! No! Actually it's not that bad. Yeah, this this is actually fine. Um, oh. I see. Wait, no, I, oh, eh. oh, no, 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 wrong one! Fuck! No! I'm going through, like, the five stages of grief. No, wait! Ah, okay, saved. It's so hard to keep track of which portal's where. Um, no! Okay, there you are. All right. LMAO. Okay, moving on. Oh, loading screen. The real question is, will you be fine? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Mm. Let's not take these That's a good idea. Okay. Hmm. You're a potato.
this is the hardest room in the game. It, it's just, it's so, it goes on forever, and it's just completely vertical, and it's so difficult at each point to know where you're supposed to go next. But I kind of love it. Um, how am I gonna do the thing that I need to do? That's the question here. Hmm. 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 Oh, that's how. Okay. Wait, no. I'm still not... That's what I... Okay, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Hey. Pull. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, do the thing. You can do it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I need it every once in a while. Ah! Hmm. Lovely. Okay. Round two. Fight. Okay. Now what? Ah. I almost didn't make it through that. That was scary. Uh, I shouldn't have landed there, should I? Nope. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. So I'm gonna put the orange one there. No, no! It's okay. No harm done. No harm done. No harm done. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. I am focused. Okay. Let's make things portalable. First and foremost, pretty. I'm a painter. Did you know? Uh, and now let's also make it blue. Seems like something that I might want to be blue. Uh, here's an idea. No, that's not what I meant. Arrgh. Oh, it can only be one at a time. No, I misunderstood. I thought it, if it had white as the base, it could also have other stuff on top. But I was incorrect. Okay, so what we want is that and that. Wow, look at you mixing colors. Yeah, apparently that's not allowed. So don't follow my example. Okay. This should be fun. I did it wrong. That's where we want it. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Um. Where's the thing? But, like... Oh, am I gonna have to, like, reposition the portal as it's in the air? No, because it won't fall back down anyway. You're gonna make me do the white one first, huh? Okay, fine. Fine? No, it's fine. Then we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Then... We'll come back over here and do that. To reset all that. Now we should be good to go. Oh no, mixing colors. 
Alright. There it is. Here we go. There we go. Heck yeah. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, okay. Ah! This part's fun. It goes through the ventilation system! Just coats the whole cylinder. Ah, uh, good times. I should do it. I hope. Whoa! Whoa! Forgot the... Perspective is all wonky there. Um... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Can't quite remember how to go through this. Who knew traveling in a straight line was so hard? I know, right? Like I said, this is this is just the hardest room in the whole thing. There's still a chance of me like falling all the way back to the beginning. It wouldn't be awful to get back up because most of the puzzles have already been solved, but you would still have to repeat a lot of portal placements. Um, what if I jump? I, no matter how many times I play this game, I'm always confused by which, uh, thank you, this way up, that's, that's actually helpful. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Hooray! Enough of that nonsense. Hmm. Don't remember what to do in this room either. I'm very good at this game. The bestest at this game. Aw, oh, you're too kind. Also a liar! But a kind liar, and I appreciate that. Hey. Hey! That'll do. Probably. Can I? Oh, No portal pipe. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Shh. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just put one there. Here and try again. <laughs> no, no, I like that. Here. 
here and here. No, not quite there, but y you know, there. Yes. Yes. Oh. Hmm. There's logic to that. What a convenient poster. Yeah. Put there in 1984 by the plot. Ow. Let's go to wherever that is. Sounds good. That. Hmm. Hey, what a sight for sore eyes. A real elevator. You did it! You beat the basement! That makes me think of... Uh, there's... There's an escape room series in Los Angeles called The Basement, so that's what I'm thinking of. I really, I don't know, have, have you ever been to an escape room? I really enjoy them. I, I wouldn't call myself, like, an expert at them. There are definitely people who have done dramatically more than I have, but I've definitely done more than most, probably around 15. only been to one escape room but it was fun yeah i just that's one of my favorite types of gameplay so to do it in real life is just very fun Just to be clear, um, he, like, paradoxes never come up again. That is as far as they go in the plot. Just a complete non-event, and I love that. I think that's an excellent writing choice. I have to test all the time, or I get this, this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, man alive. Nothing feels better. It's hmm. just, I just, that's why I've got a test. That's why I've got a test. I'm getting cocaine so vibes. You're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch. And everything is. That's great, isn't it? Good morning. 
core overheating. Nuclear meltdown Shut imminent. Up. You know, Wheatley seems so nice at first, but I think he has some pretty serious anger issues. Maybe a complex or two. Test. Beautiful. Designed this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. Mm. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Extremely it's, dangerous. It's not. Actually, it's not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it. Still working mm. on it. Okay. It looks great. Love what you've done with your hair. Are you yes. kidding me? Oh, well done. Oh, that's it's tremendous. like a self-solving test. Yeah, that gamer rage ain't healthy. Really good. Great. Here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, mm -hmm. why don't you just keep solving this test? It's like what? And I can just like watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Yeah, okay. Here we go. There, do it again. And nothing. Alright, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Alright, so my paradox idea didn't work. Not even a little. Why is my cursor showing on the screen? I'm using a controller. God dang it. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. Hmm. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Hmm. These are fun. Something tells me he isn't very good at making tests. I don't know that he's good at anything. What do I do with you exactly? Oh, that's right. There we are. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, I, why don't you two go on ahead? Yeah, He's just... good at talking, and doesn't that count for something? You know, I remember when I was in college, I met this person and I realized that the only thing that I thought I could say about her that was positive was that she was very confident. And I shortly after concluded that if your only virtue is confidence, it is actually an evil. <laughs> yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests. Hmm. I found lying around. Lying Checked around. All together. Buttons, got funnels. Bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. Yeah. It's got it all. Absolute dynamite. It, it seems like you just put a bunch of stuff together and just, um, just removed the floor is what it looks like. What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't remember. Oof, yeah, being around people like that isn't fun. Unrelated, but like related enough that it reminded me. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's Never dead. Mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. 
can't believe you would do this to me, Wheatley. Anyway, um... I was at work once, and... I met this woman, she said that, like, Mercury, Mercury was in retrograde. And... I told her that I, I didn't know what that meant, and I asked her to explain it to me. And she said, Oh, it's just like when Mercury spins backwards. And, uh, I, I didn't say this to her, but... It's just, she, she said it with such confidence. And I, I just, I so wanted to be like, have you heard of Newton's first law? Because most people have. Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well done. Well, at least she has high self-esteem, right? I will admit, it's admirable. Like genuinely, it's it's freaking hard to believe in yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? No. No, it looks like it was meant to be this way to begin with. It really does. Can't remember how to do this one. What if I go over there? The Saw movies wish they could be this sophisticated. <laughs> Just a bunch of puzzle test chambers. I'm gonna do with that. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You're coming home with me. Here we go. Hi, buddy. You're terrifying. Um. Let's see. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do that. Come on. Wee. Okay. Hmm. Now what exactly? Perhaps... Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, 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 got it. Oh, no, yep, that's fine. Yep, do that. I fucked up. Fucked up. I 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 fucked up. Hi. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Ah. Oh, disappointed. Hmm. At least you can't kill this drone. These drones, like all the others. Um, I mean, you don't kill the other ones. You just deactivate them, unless you bring them through the Emancipation Grill. Uh, then yeah, you kill them. I don't know. I've, I, I don't remember if there's a way to. So that last test was seriously disappointing. Mm. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you. So hey, it's a turret. Away, all right, fatty. The 
adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. What? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? But, but, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted, and that's terrible. And also, <laughs> Some of my best friends are orphans. I am not a moron. Just do the test. Just do the test. I like how he was just using the same insults that she used at the beginning of the game, but worse. I wonder if, like, there's something in the mainframe that's just like to display aggression, call people fat or orphans. How am I gonna... Well, no, not what I wanted to do. Uh... He does everything worse, doesn't he? Yeah, a little bit. It would be charming if it wasn't murderous. There's nothing portable here on this side. Um, and if I remember right, this button reverses the direction of the funnel. Whoa, oh shit, oh no. Wait, actually, I want you back. And you're gonna stand on the button. Sideways, please. Sideways. Oh, I thought that was a good idea. Well then, off with you. How am I going to press this button and be in there at the same time? Why can't I remember this at all? How could you throw it? I didn't throw it. It was more of a drop, so... You know, that that's okay, right? I think. It wasn't useful to me, so I murdered it. But not in cold blood. Actually, yes, in very cold blood. But not for pleasure, is what I mean. How the heck am I gonna get over there? Why can't I remember this at all? Hmm. 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 You relate more to GLaDOS than I realized. Oof, that cut deep. I'm not that much of a monster. Probably. Oh, debris. Excellent. Seriously, why can't I figure this out? I've played this game like four times. How is this just completely stymieing me? There's nothing, like, portable over here, is there? No, it's just, it's just a cliff. If you've played it five times, you'd remember. Yeah, but I haven't played it five times yet, have I? I don't know, actually. I haven't been counting. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm a dope. I'm a dope. I'm a dope. I'm a dope. Look at this. There it is. There it is. Stay where I put you, okay? Stay there. Good. 
Excellent. And then I just need you to um, go over there. I'm not going to kill it. It's done nothing to me. It's not enough. I did. I mean, he can't kill us. We're his dealer, in a way. He is playing classical music. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. Hmm. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So hmm. the moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah, doubt it. Well, I'm going to not the classical music. We hate classical music here. Oh boy. Nope, not what I wanted. Yeah. And then just come on over here with me. Yeah! Good job. Good job. Good boy. Nothing. Clearly. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny that rather than, uh, like programming them to never tell test subjects the solutions to tests they were just like um let's simulate a pain response so he's not getting high off the testing anymore yeah it's like Yeah, he, he's like, he's building up a resistance to the drug, as it were. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So we got one of these. We'll just put it right there. And we'll be on the other side of it. Look at that. Oh, now here's a problem, though. Is, um... If I go through that, the portals are going to disappear, and then my defensive block will. T so I'm just gonna, just gonna squeeze. Pe oh, I can't. Okay, do it quick. There we go. Um. Hmm. Come on. Come. Come on. There it is. Hey. Hi, Kay. Uh, back for good, or until I go to sleep. Did I need to catch up on anything? We're just, we, we made it back into the main testing area, and this guy's throwing us through the old rigmarole, giving us a run for our money. Uh, I think that's it. I'm eating Starburst. That sounds wonderful. I am now a, de uh, yeah, I'm a drug dealer for the Wheatley robot because, um, it, he, there, there's like something built into the mainframe where he gets like a euphoric high from uh, putting people through tests, but he is quickly growing up a uh, resistance to it, and so he's just like frustrated and going through withdrawal, and it's awful and kind of funny. What's this do? What's this do? Oh, it opens the door? How am I gonna... Hmm. Oop, not the one I meant to hit. Okay, fine. I'll restart. Ow. 
Uh, did anyone else sniff Sharpies when they were younger, or am I just weird? Um, neither. I did not sniff them, but that was a thing. And yes, you can get high off of that. And no, you should not do that. Still do, actually. You should not do that. That is not good for your brain. That is not good for your brain. I hear the cube, the Franken cube. Where is it? Where is the monster? Oh, there's a button. I never pressed the button. Silly me. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Wasn't much left to lose in my brain anyways. You're a teacher. No, that, I, I, I've met some, some pretty dumb teachers, though. You don't remind me of them, though. Damn it. See, Pedro, you can kill these two. I'm doing it a lot. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now. What exactly? Oh, I know. I know what now. I know what now. <laughs> wow, Jonathan. Hey, I've met some dumb teachers. It's happened. I mean, I can't say for certain they were dumb. They were certainly ineffectual, is, is, is how I will term that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. I made a mistake, but it's okay. We can fix this. I fixed it. No, I didn't. Shoot. Shoot. Dang it. Um, okay. Here, here's what we're gonna... Frick. Not what I meant to do. No, 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 no. My fifth grade teacher was crazy, like, legitimately unhinged. Sounds like a wonderful person. Glad you spent a whole year with them. Maybe I can do it right this time. Wouldn't that be funny if I did it right? Oh, you're, you're making me nervous. Get more centered on there. Come on. There you go. There you go. Are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, no, I'm not. Solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, if no. that were a possibility, I would do it. She tried to hit kids with brooms to intentionally get fired. What, so she could collect, like, a severance package? My god. She should be in jail. She retired. I've never had a violent... Oh, wait. I've never had a teacher who was violent while they were my teacher. I'm going to take you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. That makes sense. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Mm. Uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, all right? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Hmm... Hmm. That looks promising. What happens if we do that? Oh, shoot. Ah, underwhelming. There 
we go. How am I going to turn that off? I need a cube. I hear a cube. Where is cube? My high school choir teacher had cheated on his wife with one of the booster club parents and married her. Ooh. Could be worse, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty bad, but at least no students were harmed, except maybe the child of that parent. What happens if I push that button? Oh, I know what happened. It's not useful right now. Oh, there's a, there's, there's a box. How am I gonna get box? How am I gonna get box? Will that get me box? That will not get me box. Hmm. What a predicament. Looks like, like I'll need to launch myself out of that, but how would I? Oh, got it, 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 got it. Just have to think of what is appropriate to share. I don't know why it's doing this language filter. It's so annoying. My God, I turned this off. Like, after the first stream I tried it, I turned it back off, and now it's just stuck. I think it's bugging. Hmm. What is I was... Wh why did I want to do this again? Because... Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, YouTube. I should have said he was a butt. You can say whatever you want. I don't know why it's being so dumb. I'll try to have it fixed by next week. up here and then this will go there oh there and that'll go there uh oh oh okay i got it you are gonna stand right here you beautiful little monster right right, right here right right here and then we're gonna do uh, this. And that. Shit. Damn it. Messed up. Messed up. Speaking of butts, another story from a mentor was a teacher got fired for biting a student's butt. Yeah. No, I can't do it. I can't think of a context where that makes even a little bit of rational sense. Even in a twisted way. There we go. Now we wait. And then... I can't speak. I have brain damage. She said, bite my butt after he got into, onto her for something, and he did. Mm. 
What planet do you have to come from? Needless to say, she told someone, and he was removed from campus right away. Felt the same way after hearing it too. <laughs> yeah, that's just that. That's so many layers of how did this happen? What? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh my god. That was a little bit goofy. That was maybe not supposed to happen at all. Gonna be honest, have no idea what to do now that I've done that. Oh, that looks important. Let's do that. So I'm gonna go over here. Then I'm gonna have that, oop, that come here. Oh, come here? No, come there. Oh no, we have to go back over there? How? How? Okay, no, fine, you're the boss. You're the boss. You're the boss. We'll go back over there. Not enough. Scary. Uh, you make portals and it does a thing. Still learning new things about a game you've played. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I'm learning new things. It's more just like... How do I do this again? Yeah, hooray for no progress. I'm sorry, it's probably like a writer's block situation, huh? It can be freaking difficult. Choir kit antics. Bunch of stuff to edit? That sounds kind of exciting. Can I make this jump? Oh my god, I can't believe I made that jump. Okay, so now I just need to do this. Come on, this. And pop those portals back where they were. Back where they were. Back where they were. There. Wow, yeah, it really is. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, um, okay. Are you all right, oh, wait. There? oh, nope. I thought I was actually supposed to do something. Don't you love it when you've played a game multiple times and you still make stupid mistakes in it? Doesn't it feel good? Oh, yep. First time I'm hearing that. What is Choir Kid antics? Because at my school, that probably meant something way different. Yeah. Yeah, it is.
my uh high school choir was kind of an anomaly because like i i'm not gonna say anything kind about my high school band teacher he was a really awful man um but it cannot be denied that uh, he was capable of getting high school kids to sound good on their instruments and that did not translate over to choir he was also the choir teacher and he I, I, I don't know if he's to blame or like the kind of kids in my hometown who take choir are to blame or what but the choir was routinely awful and the band was routinely award-winning it was very confusing Wrong portal. And the goop is back. Ah, good old goop. How we missed you. There it is. Welcome. Welcome to here. There we go. Don't know what to do with that, but it exists now. Hooray! Now I remember... But how am I gonna... Antics, when you accidentally cause a bunch of people to sing a choir song from the winter concert as separate videos. Wait, you- oh no, you mean- Oh, you have to like, edit people's individual tapes together into one video? Where everybody's singing as a choir from individual tapes? That's- Oh god, that's a lot of work. And now we're editing- you're editing them into a video to show your music teacher what happens when choir kids are left to their own devices. Yeah, slightly different from probably what Pedro was thinking. Yeah, I'm having another one of those fun moments where I can't remember how I am supposed to do this. I know what I want to do, I just don't know how to do it. You know? You know? Because I, I want to have these be the portals, but I also want something on the- Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I just have to switch places with the little button guy. Now I am the this button. Look at me, I am the this button now. Okay, here goes. Wait. To be safe. Let's 
just have one portal on the excursion funnel ready to go because I don't remember what's what's gonna happen oh yeah oh yeah this is bad well that didn't save me look at you pro puzzle master are you patronizing me I mean you you literally you literally are come to think of it <laughs> I don't even like editing <laughs> like thinking editing Thinking editing videos like what can't quite tell what you're trying to say there Okay, so what was, what was supposed to happen here what went wrong That's definitely one of the steps that's definitely one of the steps Come on Goopify the whole track. Beautiful. And then what? Oh. I got you. I had the right idea. I just didn't go all the way through with it. There it is. There it is. When I said, when I wasn't, when I, wait, I wasn't when I typed it, but the timing of you reading it was great. <laughs> wait, I, oh, wait, oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, the timing, yeah. Yay. You two are going to love this big surprise. We're going to love it? You're going to love it to death. You're gonna love it until you until it kills you to your death. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there. But... I'm not sure. No, I I want him to explain it more because I'm not sure if I do understand what he's getting at there. And I just I don't want to be left out of the loop. You know, you know. Actually, he is. That's that's the unfortunate thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. Only three more chambers to your big surprise. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's tiring. <laughs> Beautiful. I too need a better picture. Of what? I'm like, I feel like I'm so behind on everything that's happening. <laughs> oh, a better picture of the surprise he has in the story, yes. Yeah. It's just, it's not very clear. I think I waited too long. I don't remember how to get back. How do I get back? Hey, how do I get back? Hey, how do I get back? Oh, I figured out how to get back. Well, I get. Good. Figured it out. Good night, Kay. Sleep well. Have a great week. See you next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, stop. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Have to go back. We have to go back.
Okay, this time when I land, going right for that button. No distractions, I'm going right for that button. Hit the button. Okay, and now I'm gonna wanna do... That. This is where it gets fun. You ready? Hey! Bye. Wait, is this timed? Okay, no, I don't think it is. That would be cool. Okay. Okay. Um. Can't say I'm confident about what's supposed to happen here, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens if I do this. And then this. Promising, promising, promising. Yes. Good. Good one. Good for you. So he's inexplicably hmm. happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going out of his mind with test withdrawal. And he's got a surprise for us. What did he find back there? I was thinking about switching back to Steel Rising now that the chat's slower and I would actually be able to pay a little bit of attention. But we're just, we're so close to the end of Portal 2 now. And we'll, we'll, I'll probably stop at the end of that. Yeah, I'll stop at the end of that. God, it's late. Oh, oh, whoa! I didn't escape, remember? What do you think? Should I come back? Yeah, I remember that. What do you fucking think happened to those days? Uh, I don't know what to do here. Oh, that's... That looks frightening. go from here. Seriously, where do I go from here? You should give him another chance. I'm giving him a pretty good chance now. Oh no. Oh, I was supposed to launch myself through that. Well, maybe it's not too late. Maybe I can get enough momentum. Maybe I can... Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, good. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! Mm. Poor Franken Cube. Man, Wheatley, it would be so easy if you just had some deadly neurotoxin, am I right? Oh god.
you know what SpongeBob episode I'm thinking of right now, right? Can't go wrong with Neurotoxin. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh my god, I've never noticed this before. I'm just gonna let him think I'm dead. That's right. Mm -hmm. I've never stayed to listen to this. I'm gonna keep this guy as a friend. Which episode? Uh, the the one where they are on the Flying Dutchman and SpongeBob's like directing Patrick. He's like, "You're good, you're good," and like, because Wheatley was just shearing those like smart arms off of the uh, off the test chamber by moving it. Yep. Ace of Fours is the best hand. Bye. They're kind of cute. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. And Thanks. foolish. Okay. That's right. Eh, there we go. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashi Spike Plate. Oh shit. Stay still, please. Alright, stop moving. Oh, got you there. Oh, got you there. Where do you go? Come back, come back. Ah, gross! All over my good dro my my good dress. I tried to say dress and clothes at the same time. That would be amazing if it killed you. Ah shit. Hello. Oh oh oh! Get some more. Don't just have a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back. Okay. I promise to do my freaking best. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't actually look helpful. Where should I put it instead? What happens if it's up there? Oh, I got you. I'm I'm picking up what you're put. Oh, but that's not. I can't portal that. Why can't I remember this? Why can't I remember anything? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's like a shooting gallery. Except the targets are also shooting. Fun times. I could watch this forever. I still pity them. They just wanted to be friends with you. You know, I'm afraid I can't disprove that. They could just be following their directives. Maybe what little sentience they carry actually is completely non-hostile. That would be quite cruel of the de de the designers. 
Uh oh. Not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Well, I haven't died yet, Wheatley, so you should probably just let me go. That's probably what, what's best here for everybody. Oh, I. It, lo it looks like that's not what happened. Jeez. Yeah. What does that win me? This, I guess. Guess who's back? Back again. I'm impressed you know that reference. That's not very nice. There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. You may. The death traps have been a bit of a failure. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. That you'd agree. And yeah. You are getting very close to my lair. I see. Lair. It's weird that first time I said that, it sounds a bit, it's a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly mm -hmm. lair. Ooh. And uh, I just wanted to. I'm so proud of him. To kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Oh! Just jump into that masher just there. Just uh, right there? A death trap or a death option for you. Ah, oh, I see. Sounds crazy, but, no, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, alright? It will be mandatory. No tricks, no surprises. Just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. Mm. So, but better offer here is just kill yourself. He's making a very good, uh, very good case for this. I'm not actually sure which of these doors I'm supposed to go through, but let, let's try this one first. Going to listen on this stream while doing a signed reading I was supposed to finish two weeks ago, but was too busy because music concerts. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Okay, well that answers which one I should go through. Wow, he's still going. I wasn't even thinking about that, but he's still going. We are getting quite close to the end, Kay. Not too much longer. Just a bit. Is there any orange goop? I could use some orange goop. Or, or a long place to fall. What the heck? I don't even remember getting stuck at this part before. Why can't I figure this out? Oh, oh no, I made a bad decision. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. That'll do. Which out. It's the curse of aging. You know, I'm not stupid. 
Hmm. Not really, if there's another option. How's everyone's day been? Real good. Actually, I did a lot to today. Um, this morning I, I read through a friend's, uh, rough draft of their movie script. That was really fun. And, um, then I, I do this, like, disgustingly cute yoga thing with my dad where just, like, every week on Zoom we'll just meet up and he'll help me through a routine. And then I streamed. Very simple day. Very relaxing. Uh, my day's been good. Had food and played games. I've done a lot of the playing games part. I'm looking forward to doing some more of the food part right after this. Doesn't it sound nice? It was a good day. I like the foreshadowing here, all three types of gel and bombs. What could possibly await us next? Sounds good. <laughs> Yay, food. Uh, it's not really my thing. Got stuck in a cleaning hyperfixation and then went to my friend's house. That sounds fun. If not fun, then productive. Friend of my friend? No, wait, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? That's actually kind of smart. You, oh, you turned it back on? Damn. The name of this track is Bombs for Throwing at You, coming up. And I love that. Oh. You know what you should do? You should throw a bomb over here. Good job. This is my favorite character in either game. Is Todd finally feeling better, Jonathan? Yeah, she is. Thank you. Space. Yes, now we are a family again. Space, I want space. Wait, wait, space, space, space. 
Okay, I I gotta go. Like, I, I have to actually beat the boss in the time limit, but oh my god, do I love that character. What a fun friend, Core. Right? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Name's Rick. Whoa. There's a lot of stuff on fire. Ew. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure scare. Why? Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will suffer in two minutes. <laughs> A couple hundred? That's all? For a few years? You tried to kill me. You're the one who chose that. I tried. I don't remember where this one is. There you are. Um. I think this is just the lie core. School tomorrow and I'm excited because I'm one of those people. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna press the heck out of that button. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna press the button. You guys want me to press the button? I'm gonna press that button. Such an excellent climax. Ah, I knew he was going to die. Did he, though? I called it last stream. Oh, thank 
Those two are the uh, the characters you play as in the two-player co-op uh, puzzle gauntlet, which is very well designed, by the way. All along, you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, Billy. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> you know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good Or life. put me in a potato. And then you showed up, you dangerous mute lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just... Go. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a space nerd, but I never fully grew out of my astronaut phase. I'm gonna turn up the volume here. Sorry, Kay. When it's too much trouble to kill someone, just let them go. If you love someone or want to kill them, let them go. I used to want to be an astronomer, but then I realized there was math, so I stopped. Love that. More fun to have. Where the fuck is the music? What the hell? Wh Why is it com is it completely silent for you? Because it's completely silent for me. I've never seen this before. I can't pause. I can't. Wh Where did the sound go? No music. I wonder... I wonder if it knows that I'm streaming and it turned it off? Because I'm, I'm sure it's copyrighted now that I think about it. Well, no, but still alive in the credits for the last game played fine, and that wasn't copyright claimed. What's going on? That do No, that doesn't make sense, because I it, it's not YouTube, because I don't even hear it locally on my own machine. Like, my, my own headphones are not playing anything right now at all. This is so weird. Well, um, the song is called Want You Gone by Jonathan Colton, I think. Is it Colton? I think so. Uh, but I, I recommend looking it up. It's just, 
like the the version that GLaDOS sings. It's just it's very fun. The the lyrics are good. It's not as good as Still Alive in my opinion, but it is more musically interesting, which is why it's such a bummer, and we can't hear it. It's a good song. I'll sing my heart will go on to myself to make up for it. Yeah, very tonally appropriate. Wow, what a great song. Wasn't that a great song, everybody? So much space. Need to see it all. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're I'm both in space. space. Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. The end indeed. Thanks for joining me on this goofy adventure. See, Wheatley's not dead. He's just never going to do anything again. Which is much worse. Ah, <laughs> uh, I had so much fun streaming this with you guys. Thank you for, like, especially the two of you, Pedro and Kay. Uh, you, you've been here for, like, all of everything. So, thank you. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, Fate Worse Than Death. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for taking us on this goofy French Revolution adventure. I'm thinking for the next, before the next stream, I might, uh... Well, actually, for the next stream, I thought that we would start Rain World. <clears throat> Rain World. Somebody recommended the soundtrack to me, and I, I was able to get it on sale on Steam. I've listened to a little of the soundtrack, and honestly, I'm not very impressed by it. Like, I, I, I don't mean that it's bad. It just, it doesn't seem very noteworthy to me, but maybe I just didn't get far enough into it. I'm interested to see what it's like. Um, I left like five times. No, but you know what I mean. I missed the first hour. No, but you know what I mean. Um... Yay, tropes. Uh, Note-worthy. <laughs> but I'm thinking that uh, before I stream Steel Rising again, I might just try to get past this one part on my own. Because it's just, I, it's so confusing. I, I can't figure out where I am in it. And the enemies are hard enough that, you know, maybe maybe I shouldn't stream Steel Rising. I I think the, the next time I stream Steel Rising might be the last. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. But my god, it, it's so hard to play a difficult game while streaming. I I, I don't know how, how people do it. Cause you know they're out there. I, I've seen them. There are people with ridiculously high skills that can also read chat. What? What? It's crazy. Anyway. Finally something that takes you longer than making a bagel. Listen, I think I have a pretty average bagel, ma bagel making time. It's not a big deal. You know, you, you put it in the toaster, slather it and too much cream cheese and then you're done. Anyway, that is it for this stream. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, so we are still on for next Sunday. Um, working on the next video that will probably be up in the final week of January. Uh, and yeah, thank you for being here, for supporting me, for uh, watching the videos, and uh, I enjoy all your commentary and everything. Uh, I'm talking too long. Have a great night and a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.